Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games and the yes. newest hardware. Because tonight it's all about turning up the volume and it's all about the Quadtari. Look at it in all its glory. Um, we got this uh, a couple weeks ago before the Atari Awards. Mm. So I had to wait till after the Atari Awards to do a show on it. But tonight is the night where this combines four joysticks mm -hmm. into your Atari 2600. Newest piece of hardware for your VCS. And we're very excited to present all the games that support the Quadtari tonight. And there are quite a few, actually. I'm excited. Because <laughs> this just came out. It mm. just landed in the hands. I saw some people um, mm. posting in the Atari Age mm. forums that they have it. At least two people. Cool. So it's getting out there. Nice. Where's my tablet? Nice. Um, yeah, welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, if you've never been here before, but most of the people in the chat have been here before. I see a lot of familiar names. Tonight we have a bunch of games broadcasting at 60 frames a second, so make sure you're watching at that, because uh, sometimes I don't say that, and people will go, uh, oh, it's all funny looking. Tonight you'll need it, because there's a bunch of, um, uh, champ games, and he utilizes that quite a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, tonight we're going to be playing a bunch of games you've never heard of. Quad games. Thank you so much, Alan the Fur, for mm -hmm. subscribing. Uh, made by Nathan Tolbert. Guawa. Is that how you say that? I've never said it out loud. <laughs> Guawa. Guawa? I'm going to say Guawa. Gao-ow? gao, -ow? gao -ow? <laughs> Until he uh, corrects me. Yeah. Uh, quad games. This is a 2021 exclusive premiere. Modern Battle by uh marco johannes mm -hmm. this is a 2021 exclusive mm. premiere as well mm. made for the, both for the quadtari mm -hmm. i don't know how to pronounce it myself i usually say gow wow gow wow gow wow okay. gow wow kind of like makes that. sense I yeah. like that. uh we've got raindrops space debris and witch's tower made by carl garrison carl g nice. who is in the chat nice. as well these are demo games yep. for the so they're very simple games for the quad tari mm -hmm. but they're all a little bit different so i wanted to show them i wanted to show all the games that are uh, compatible with the quad tari mm -hmm. um we've also got a bunch <coughs> of games that have been out already that have pre-supported the quad tari uh galagon wizard of war arcade mm -hmm. robot war 2684 zookeeper and uh, all done by John Champo of Champ mm -hmm. Games and a ton of other people. I've got mm -hmm. their names all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to read out all the names. Uh, mostly Nathan Strom and a bunch of other people. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all the other people are like, hey. <laughs> hey, say our names. There's there's John Champo in the yeah. chat right now. Excellent. And we've got the exclusive 2021 uh, world premiere mm -hmm. of the new Ladybug Arcade. His new mm -hmm. updated, revamped version of Ladybug cool yes okay are we loud enough i don't think we're loud enough check we check 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 just a little bit louder check 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 well you're screaming now so <laughs> yeah i am but uh just, yeah no it was a little low we had to reset we had to set up everything after the awards so volumes are a little yeah. bit blah, blah, yeah. blah. volume is great and as you were noting you know the color is a little off too everything's a little off we're because little... everything had to be torn down and built back up yeah, again we're a little blue a little, Got a little, little purple going little on in the cooler spectrum. Yeah, we'll, that's we'll okay. change that. You but, know what? It suits the temperature right now, which oh. in Vancouver, I noticed people in the chat were talking about it being minus 50 in parts of Canada. Not surprised. It's Record cold. setting cold temperatures in Vancouver. Record uh, setting. Re so it's Literally. minus five here, minus five C. Oh my God. It's the worst. <laughs> James is going to. What's the reverse of spontaneously combust? Like hyper. Freeze to death. Freeze to death. Turn into an ice cube. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and he doesn't even leave the house. So uh, it's <sighs> it's definitely cold for Vancouver. But it's nice and warm in here because we've got lots of, uh, we got lots of lights. electronics happening and lights. But and it is bloody cold everywhere else. Oh, it Regina. Is. Yeah, Regina is also very cold, very dry. But it's yeah. it's definitely not normal Vancouver temperatures here. No, it's too cold. It's, it's, it, it's, you know, our, I moved from a place of the country that hot, was a lot colder. Our hot water pipes froze for a couple hours. They froze. They're, they're fine now. Because but. our, <laughs> our silly, silly Vancouver built homes have no insulation. So all below our zero. pipes freeze the yeah. moment the temperature drops. So anytime so. it goes below zero, we have to run the tap. Ugh. So keep it moving. 
Um, thank you, Miss Command, for resubscribing. And mm. uh, uh, awesome. speaking of which, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers, which are listed beside Tanya. Uh, 8 Bit Swami. That's a new name on the list. Thank nice. you. Armscar Coder, Cafferman, 2D Catalogs, Coconut 81, Danny, VC Drexel, Emu Dan, Grey Defender, Gretem's Ground Trooper, Orjur, Orjur Apper, mm -hmm. Johnny WC, Juan Urato, Carl G, Mark Spacek, Mick, Muse, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strump, Packer, VG, Quahog, 2600, RC70, Repentless, VG, Ricardo Pim, Scum Software, Smitty B, Socrates, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, Stephen A, 666. Uh, the D Train, Welshman, Thrust, Tiki Dan K, and Trek MD. And if you were subscribed and you don't see your name, it's because you've let your subscription lapse because it doesn't tell you when it's run out. Did you say my name? Uh, you've let your subscription lapse. <laughs> I'm the worst. Support the show. I know. <laughs> I waste, am the worst. Just a waste. So yeah. uh, make sure you follow and subscribe and click on all the things. Miss Command messed up her streak did oh, you no. oh no currently on a one month streak oh no my mouse? i oh, hate when that happens yeah subscribe for seven months total but currently on a one month streak yeah oh. seven months though thank you yes that's yes. really nice thank yeah. you so much I hate, I hate the streak stuff yeah yeah um yeah so we just came off the atari awards speaking yes. of that it was a ton of fun. Oh, a so ton good. of work. It was. Um, it was great speaking to people who we've never spoken to yeah. before. Yeah. Um, Steve from Stella, mm -hmm. um, Armscar Coder, mm -hmm. um, just a ton of a ton of people. Um, so it was really a, a lot of fun. And Al from Atari Age was there, mm -hmm. and um, John Champo, as per usual, was there. Although I would say <laughs> it's better when you have a few more people helping out because we oh were we were skeleton staff, and that's a lot to manage when it's just three people, really. Yeah, Aaron we were lucky. Was there Aaron, beside, yeah, helped us behind the scenes wearing a mask. Um, so that he could help out. Come on, Terry. I'll move this. Come on. No. Nope. Come on, buddy. Okay. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. A lot of awards were given out. Um, here's all the pink envelopes I need to send off to all the winners. Yeah. Look at, all. Look at all those winners. Um, I've got all their addresses. So now I can send it off. Yeah. Um, I do have to order some some awards because I didn't get the port ones. Um, in the initial prepared in the yeah. initial batch yeah but i have to order a couple extra ones anyway because so some people well. wanted mm -hmm. some extra ones for people who worked on the games um it was the most watched stream of zero page homebrew ever wow ever and wow. that that is really good like yeah. like well beyond yeah and it was one of the fastest uh youtube videos to a thousand viewers yeah like the three days i think it made it to a thousand views yeah. i mean yeah, so it, it was amazing. It's good stuff, yeah. It was a lot of fun. We try and step up the production quality yeah. each time. Yeah, and it was a challenging year to do that, so... <laughs> oh, my God. Hundreds of hours doing all that yeah. stuff. Um, here's some comments. Okay. Uh, Zero Page Homebrew has somehow out outdone themselves each and every year. Mm -hmm. So many great games for Atari. High-quality production. Congrats, guys. You did an amazing job with the award show. That This was amazing. Great job. You both look great, and nice Erling could drop by. Mm -hmm. Saw the behind-the-scenes pictures. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to all the winners and nominees. Nice to talk and to hear from everybody. Great show. This is really cool. Nice to see their hard work gets appreciated in this way. And somebody said, usually I'm not a fan of award shows in general, <laughs> but I really enjoyed watching this one. Mm -hmm. Such amazing work being done across the board, and the little technical glitches didn't take away from the fun. The overall presentation and format were excellent. Kudos to you, Al, and everybody involved putting this together. I thought it was fantastic. Thanks so much. It must have been a ton of work. It was hundreds of hours. And somebody said need needed more cats. <laughs> we had to lock them up. Yeah, they <laughs> got really excited that Erlen was there. They went nuts. They went absolutely And it was crazy. like 10 minutes before we were starting. Running so around. I think if I think if we were able to start with them calm, we could have had them wander through. But yeah. um, what, what was happening? They were attacking. <laughs> you were there. downstairs. I was getting ready. Yeah. And Errol and I, what were, they, what were they doing? Oh, they were jumping all over. They were messing up all. So, so. So that little issue we had with the envelope, oh. one of the things Atari got on the table and, and like ran across it and knocked over all the awards on oh, the table. Oh, that's why they were out of order. And uh, um, uh, I'll blame the cats for that. But um, but yeah. they so Atari was but he was just all frisky and he wanted to play and he was like he was like yeah. yeah. Metaluner says that was uh, I don't know 
That was the ZPH's first award show I saw. It was fun. You put a lot into raising the production of the stream, and it showed. Yeah. Well, thank you. I yeah. try and do a top they notch do miss their quality. Buddy. Yeah, they yeah. missed their buddy. They they got so excited. Ellen dropped by the a little bit before that, and this guy was just. Kind just of just jumping up on them and just going I think they're nuts. just so super happy when someone not us like, other than us like yeah. opens the door <laughs> you know you have to be careful when packages are delivered and you open the door and someone's on the other side like they get really excited oh, so right. which you know is understandable um but so I just wanted to say that's why they weren't in the stream that that yep. that they were being trouble right before it started they and they got locked up so yeah. trouble cats yeah. um I just want to thank everybody who has supported us. This is our fourth year. That's We've crazy. We've now gone into our fourth year. We've done That's three crazy. years of shows, and it was um, February 9th, 2018. That's crazy. That we started this stream. Uh, so it's been wow. three years total, and mm -hmm. just a little bit past that. So we're mm -hmm. now into our fourth year. Yeah. And the numbers are crazy for this tiny community this niche this niche within a niche yeah. um 635 followers on twitch nice 757 mm -hmm. subscribers on youtube mm -hmm. and a thousand and five followers on facebook oh nice so we just hit the thousand mark that's good. And just hit the 750 mark on youtube so yeah. just huge numbers i want to thank everybody that watches uh, on twitch and youtube and just follows on facebook and everything to everything we do it mm -hmm. hi how you doing? So uh, let's get on with the show. Yeah. Uh, so I noticed there's a big pile of stuff over there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The show is oh, unboxing actually. Yeah. Don't want to miss that. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of boxes here. Russian nesting dolls of niche. Yes, agreed. <laughs> so let's just open up. Um, I think this is limited run games. Just some new. I usually get retro style games from limited run so mm. they're always like 16-bit you know shooters or platformers yeah there you go metal yep. slug double x nice metal slug 20 um uh, metal <laughs> slug games are awesome they are some of the best um retro style games right are they the retro style bit map graphics yes 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 um, yes, yes they're yes. like the tail end of uh bitmap graphics mm. um so they're really, really detailed with yeah. huge, huge sprites. Mm -hmm. I love those games. Great series of games. They always include a little card. Do not throw away the package. There, a little card. Ah, okay, go away. And Happy it's... Mardi Gras to you too, Arena Foot. <laughs> Happy Mardi Gras. Yeah. <laughs> is that officially on like Tuesday next week or Goes is for it? Two weeks. Well, no, I, I'm not saying the celebrations, but there yeah. is an official day. Am I am I not mistaken? There I don't is. know Mardi There's Gras that day. well, and Tuesday, Tuesday, that's what I thought. Yeah, uh, that's exciting. Mighty, Mighty Gunvolt Burst. So this nice. is a shooter, I think. Cool. Yep. Another 8-bit so style. Limited run again. Another limited run. That's nice. one's for the Switch. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, and, oh my God, I can't read that font. That doesn't make it any better. Gal Gunburst. Mm. There you go. And this one is for PS4. They're both different. And two little cards that go along with it. Uh, what should I open next? Uh, let's open this one. This one is from uh, Penguinette. Mm. And some people might know that name. They are the people who made uh, Ricky and Vicky. Mm. The 7800 game. That really, really, uh, really advanced 7800 game that has proprietary uh, chips in it, proprietary sound chips, and other crazy chips. Oh my goodness! No, cats and <laughs> cats and uh, scissors don't mix. How are those supposed to fit in a 2600? Forcefully. You can try jamming them in if you want. Forcefully. Yeah. I need a um, HDMI to TIA converter. <laughs> there probably could be one people have made uh, theoretically yeah a lot of things are possible adapters for <laughs> ascii like converting movies into ascii i've seen like it really there was a big big trend a while back uh, yeah yeah like i think 10 I've seen years that. ago where somebody you know converted the matrix into ascii yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and yeah. other films like star wars into ascii yeah that's funny i think the star wars was like on purpose like they did it they did it artwork style but yeah. the matrix one was like 
it was done by a computer. Yeah. They just analyzed the thing. But I'm sure it went exists. I'm sure it yes. went exists. <laughs> not for the TIA, not that I know. So I know what these are. What these are is um oh mess. Is that Penguinet uh Tail Chow saw us play the game on the stream. Oh Ricky and Vicky. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And they saw how much pain we were in when we were playing the game <laughs> with the pain line controllers. The pain that, lines, yeah. That are really the only thing that are available for the seven eight hundred mm. in terms of first party mm. and during that era that he sent me some adapters for the 7800 mm. so that you could we can play them using genesis controllers oh that's cool that is very very cool and there they are so we can plug in our genesis controllers and mm. they'll support two buttons nice so that is super awesome oh, i like i like how they're waterproofed by yeah uh, they're shrink wrapped shrink wrapped so you can still see them and then oh, the switch is like still on switch. there too I don't know what that's for. I'll have to um, look that up. I think he's he he, he, he looks gave like some he instructions. gave some instructions there. Oh yeah, it has a diagram, a hand drawn diagram. So nice. Wow. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh <laughs> nice. my god. Look at this. I love that. I love seeing the circuit boards. I wow. just. I was is one this of those hand drawn. I was one of those bleed through. This is hand yeah, done. Yeah 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 yeah. How long this is. Got diagrams. That's so awesome. Yo, these adapters are a little more involved than the most common de designs <laughs> like the Seagull. Uh, uh, this is in to, improve, to improve stability with long cables and mitigate common failures in the 7800's input block. Luckily, it's not too complicated. The only requirement is to select one or two button mode using a switch uh, oh, in the adapter center. Uh, okay. Uh, can, not, not to scale at all, he says. Wow. Sega Master System or Genesis Pad. Oh, really? Hmm. Okay. That's really cool. Well, they're both the same, yeah. Uh, for 2600 stuff, everything is usually in one button mode. Move the switch over to off to enjoy. For 7800 stuff, try the two button mode first. If this doesn't work, then move over to one button. Then I guess you only have one button. Uh, uh, here's the layout, button layout. So use B and C uh, with the Genesis. This is. This is super cool. Thank you so much, Tail Chow, for that. That's his name on the forums. These these are going to come in super handy. We will never use those pain lines again. One, because of these, and because the Ed Ladin controller will be here in mere days. Hopefully. Unless it sits at the border for two weeks, like things usually do. Okay, the next one, which is not as exciting, but I'm leaving the best one to last. There's one more after this. This one is from, is it from Mauser? Mauser. They just sell random electronics. And this is a very large box for someone very small <laughs> for that. Nice. And what these are are power supplies, and they are power supplies for the Dragonfly cartridge for the 7800, oh. which should be here any day. Ooh, so it's nice. a power supply. Not that exciting. <laughs> Ooh. But it's specifically for the Power dragonfly, um, <laughs> so that that works, because that will be coming very shortly, and then we'll be able to play EXO. Very excited about that on actual system. You're gonna love the dragonfly, as Ramirez says. Mm. Tell me your Ed Ladin Super Twin 78 has arrived. It has not. <laughs> it's very slow, as um, referenced by this, which took the second to slowest package that mm. was sent out by Armscar Coder. So this is from Armscar Coder, mm. as you can see, see or not see in the top oh, nice. corner there. Um, and today I saw in the forums that the Brazilian got his just today. Oh, so he was the slowest one. Brazil. Well, that, Brazil. yeah, he said he that's a it fair got held up at the um, border customs yeah. and border and uh, Canadian somebody. Tenor is saying Canada Post has a massive backlog in Ontario, FYI, causing backlog throughout the country. Yeah, it's all um, frozen to the ground. Especially the Mississauga Canada Post plant, I think, had a big outbreak. Yeah. Ooh. The package itself is special. Not just not just what's Aww. inside. The whole package is very special. Oh. So it is. I, I I don't even want to open it because 
once you've opened it you can't open it again you can't open it again it's like specially tied up but at least it's on video right yeah 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 oh yeah so it's got a little you'll have um, it forever little picture i know of the delivery dude <laughs> everyone feels like that i saved mine each one is yeah. personalized oh. read the why not delivered card oh well we don't have one it says james and tanya Nice. It's personalized. Aw, that's very sweet. I'll try and um, <laughs> read ahead just in case. You can retie it. Yes, says, can. oh, yeah, I guess I can. <laughs> says, uh, package delivery exception notice. Other, ran away from your dog. Mm. I appreciate all that both of you do for the Atari community. Mm. I want to thank especially for featuring Dog Gone It on your show. Zero Page Homebrew allows first-time developers like myself an excellent platform. Andrew, Armscar Coder. That's very that nice. Is Thank you, Andrew. Wonderful. I'm so Thank excited you. to open this, too. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Or at least watch it be opened. Yeah. And it's such a great game. And a well-deserved well deserved win, Yes, too, multiple at the, wins. At the, <laughs> multiple wins at the... Yes. Um, Triple, I think he won the award show. Three out of the four prize, uh, wins that he was nominated for. He was for. nominated for? Oh, purple. Where'd you get purple? I like the purple. It's wonderful. That's awesome. There it is, doggone it. Beautiful packaging. And he won for packaging mm -hmm. as well. Because look, like all of this contributes to the packaging, right? Yes. So it's not too surprising. Mm -hmm. So doggone it. And uh, we won't play it this today, but we will play it again. Yes. <laughs> and we'll you... go through the packaging. Yes, yeah. Um, I really wanted to see the cart, but I don't I don't even want to touch it right now. So. Yeah, we'll <laughs> briefly take a look at okay, it. Okay, you be careful with that. Yeah. So it's got a nice nice uh, hardcover already. I don't have to use one of mine. Yeah. These are the ones, exact ones I have. Yeah. They're really good. They are really good, yeah. Very nice. My cat. Oh, he's here for trouble. He's See like... if I can open it without bending it. And I did. Look at that. Flat still. <laughs> Super nice. Number 7 out of 50. Number 7 out of 43 for NTSC. Andrew Polly, December 2020. Nice. It nice. is, um, I don't know what I was going to say, personalized. Mm. Let's put that over there. And we've got the cartridge. Very nice, very the same nice. as the cover. Yeah, very nice. And we've got the manual and <clears throat> a manual? Oh, introduction and review by Nathan Strum, perpetually procrastinated pontificator. Is this? Oh, it's it's a separate thing. That's very nice for Nathan Strum's review, review. like yeah. a separate card. Nice. Wow. And you get a whole pad of del uh, delivery exception notices. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> and they're all marked "ran away from your dog." Oh. So, because that's what the game's about, that's which so is cute. super cool. Very and the manual, which we'll yeah. go through in detail um, when we play it mm -hmm. on the show. That's mm -hmm. from says number 13. Oh, nice. Lucky Very 13. Nice. So that's all the packages today, which was a lot. Well, it was all building up as James oh God, was preparing yeah, for, sure. for the award show. We were just like pushing stuff weeks. in a corner. Yeah. Two, and, uh, two weeks we haven't done a really uh, normal show. Yeah. Well, we haven't done a packaging uh, normal yeah. show. We haven't done it in a month. There are a lot of games built up. Mm. Okay, so on to what this is, Quadtari. Mm -hmm. um, this has been in the making for a long time. Um, it was first announced, I found, on the Atari Age forums about three and a half years ago. So it, it, it takes wow. a long time to make hardware um, because you have to you know, think it up, diagram it out, do tests, and then make the actual thing. And mm. that's, not, that's not super easy. Um, and Gawao, Gawao, that's how he pronounced it, <laughs> uh, post on September 9th, 2017, he said, uh, for joystick adapter production advice. So I've recently been working on a project to make a four joystick adapter for the VCS. Using the second player port as an output mode to drive some multiplexers, and thus reading all four joysticks from the first player port. It's changed from that. Um, I've got a working prototype going now, which I'll be posting about in the 2600 or other forums. Soldered on a perf board, in theory, I'd like to get this thing into a state where I can make and sell these relatively cheap, but I have zero experience in dealing with hardware production. 
And this was an early prototype was demoed at PRGE mm -hmm. uh, 2017. I can't remember how long ago I uh, started beta testing. Yeah. Um, prototypes. I remember. This. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these were the first uh, prototypes. Just little circuit boards. Not the first, but early prototypes. Early versions, yeah. Um, because his first version was a multiplexer of four joysticks into the first port. Mm. And then you would use like the Atari Vox. On the second, on the second port. port. I do remember that, yeah. Um, <laughs> so he first sent me these, which uh, one plugged into one and one plugged into the other, mm. which is kind of... Similar. Similar to, to yeah. this. But it's all put in a box now. And, and looking pretty. Yeah. Yeah. And then he did a, a 3D printed one. That's what I remember us using yeah. is that one with the 3D printed. Um, yeah. And some of the early uh, John Shampoo builds supported this one. Yes. Uh, this does not work anymore. Oh, really? <laughs> He's redesigned it. Mm. So this is a lump of metal and plastic. It, it would still work on some builds, old builds you I just have. Keep it, you keep it for the museum. That's right. You know. <laughs> the Quatari Museum. The Quatari Museum. <laughs> oh, you got to show it to Joe DeCure. Very, very mm. cool. Um, we need to get a work over Wi-Fi so we can play one another. Yes. Mm. We can have mm -hmm. a multi-multiplayer game. And then we, it comes to this, which is Quatari 1.0, um, which has four inputs going out to two outputs. So each uh, side goes to one of these outputs. Um, so this is the info uh, when he said de when he demoed it at PRG 2017. Just an update, I have four player joust, tanks, and a vaguely inspired missile command bomb defense game ready to demo at PRGE. Mm -hmm. uh, for any of you going, I'd love to hear your feedback after afterwards if you get a chance to try it with a few friends. And this is the info from uh, Nathan Tolbert's website, uh, bitethechili.com. Actually, we can bring that up because I have that ready. Uh, here we go. Uh, the world's first four-player adapter for the Atari 2600. Mm. The Quadtari is currently available. Yeah, you can buy this right now. So mm. anybody who uh, wants to buy this after the show, after you I see all these demos, get it. that's right, uh, is currently available. It allows for four-player support for new games or can be used with Supported games to allow two joysticks to connect to the first port, freeing the second port for an Atari Vox or save key. Nice. A ROM of quad games, which we'll be playing tonight, which will be provided along with all purchases of the quad Tari. Nice. Orders will be assembled and built in the mm. order received. Mm. Pre-orders will be fulfilled first, so any new orders may be not completed for two to three weeks. There's a picture of it, which real things here. Mm -hmm. Quadtar can also be purchased as a kit that you assemble yourself. That's pretty cool. See notes below. Yeah. So now we know how much uh, Gao Wao's uh, mm -hmm. time is worth. <laughs> <laughs> However, we don't know how long it takes him to assemble it though. Mm. Shipping is five dollars above the price of the Quadtari order. Can it be used with three joysticks? Atari Vox save key? Yes it can. Mm. Which is very exciting. Uh, I believe so. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes. There we go. Yeah. Um, so it is $40 uh, in the U.S. or $30 for the kit, or you add uh, 10 more to each of those uh, for international. Um, so if you're handy with a soldering iron and you're quick at it, you can yep. save $10 and dead. you get to yep. see the internals. That's cool. Not that you can't because you just unscrew it. Mm. Um, so supported games, he lists quad games, which we're going to play first. And that is uh, made by Nathan Tolbert, and it's actually five games. <laughs> oh. I thought it was four. Well, at you, first. you hear quad, quad, quad. You yeah, know, four, but four, there's four. actually five, ah. five games in it. You get a bonus game. Yeah, <laughs> and actually, I've made up a graphic uh, for his uh, release. His, yeah. For his release, and I put, I started putting four, and then I realized there's five. So there's, um, there is like a joust. Mm -hmm. There's a combat style. Yeah. There is a racing mm -hmm. game. And there is a missile command type game. But there's also a surround, a four player surround game. Mm -hmm. So what I did, I can't really, can't really show it. Um, I added the surround guy in the crosshairs. Oh, nice. You can't nice. see it very yeah. well there. That's all right. Um, you'll see it later. Yeah. Um, very, very clever. Very yes. clever. <laughs> Uh, and he lists the following games ha have other quad Tari support, two joysticks plus a Tari box mm -hmm. or other configurations. Um, we're going to be playing Galagon tonight. Excellent. Uh, two players 
plus the, the Atari save, box, or yeah. which just acts as a save because there's no voices in that. Oh, one. I guess that's true. Yeah, yeah. Wizard of War. Oh, yeah, you gotta have two the players voices. plus voice, which we've never had before. Well, we have. Well, there's multiple configurations for Wizard of War. Yeah. I yeah. Did uh, we play no, it on no, the, no, we played it on the Quatari before, didn't we? How did we play it? It must have been with the Quatari. No. Are you sure? Yeah. No, we didn't. How did we play it? Maybe we didn't have voices. Yeah, we must have just had one player in voices yeah. or two players no voices. I mean, we played it with with the voice on. But, but with Wizard of War, you can now play with two players plus voices Which is awesome. and saving. Uh, and Zookeeper, um, so you can have alternating mm -hmm. um, players plus saving. There's no voices in that one. Mm -hmm. uh, Robot War 2684, that is a two-player game. Now, this is the one with multiple configurations. Yes. Okay. With Robot War, there's three major configurations. Um, is there voices in that one? No, there's not. Um, right? There's no voices. Two, two configurations. So you can have two players with dual joysticks playing. Which is awesome. Which is the ultimate way to play with two players. Mm -hmm. Or you can have one player with dual joysticks. Okay. And one with the single joystick, and then the button to fire, and then the save key, I think. Oh, you played an old build of WoW with the old Quatari. Oh, we did. Mm. Okay, so we did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she remembers. I remember. Um, <laughs> or you can play two players, single ones, and the save key mm. as well. Um, now, for tonight, for Robot War... 2684, I've prepared some special controllers. <laughs> uh, oh, you guys can't see Wonderful. me. Wonderful. You're very tiny. We're very tiny. There we go. There we go. Some special controllers. Excellent. Uh, these are the pain line, but they're not going to be so painful because you just have to do that. They're a different uh, style. <laughs> I think this will work really well. Is So are the buttons? Buttons, you don't use them. Okay. Because one is fire and one is move. And then... Oh, you have to keep it on strafe or what it... What it strafing? Yeah. Yeah. So it's auto fire. Right? So as long as you oh, not auto fire. No, you just press in the direction to fire. No. And then... No, you push the button to fire unless it's... No. If you don't move the second joystick, it doesn't fire. If you press up, it fires up. Oh. If you press down, it fires down. I thought you had to press... And okay. these are the only other ones that would work like that. <laughs> because I couldn't get the Apex 500XJs to... To wrap... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make sure you have auto fire off. You yeah. want to use two joysticks. Yes, in B. Yeah. <laughs> um, so very taped up. <laughs> Red green would be proud. Yes. It would be. Yeah, it's not duct tape, but you know. This is this is three uh, M Scotch tape, so it uh, is yeah, very that's, sticky. Isn't that? Isn't that? That's that's my art Scotch tape. Thanks so much for that. <laughs> what? I bought this because it is really sticky. Well, it's being good put to good use. Um, I have seen uh, you'll 3D, never get them apart now. Three D printed uh, <laughs> CX ten forty controllers. Yeah, forgot about red green. <laughs> People in the U S know about red green. That's funny. Oh, um, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they were. Yeah, they were pretty famous. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like Trailer Park Boys. Yeah, exactly. Nishi and or Shit's Creek now. Yeah, true, yeah. true. We do have the <laughs> a few random Canadian TV shows that that yeah. that people actually hear about but uh, if they don't find you handsome at least they find you handy, handy. yeah very very well done that's a good show um gorf arcade um which i don't think we'll be playing are we playing that one tonight no no because it's not it's not uh quite supported yet so we're playing gorf that arcade. Yeah. okay but we will be playing ladybug. the premiere of ladybug arcade yeah. which is very exciting mm -hmm. Um, okay, what is next? Um, okay, how it works is a very interesting. Mm -hmm. It basically goes back and forth between the two joysticks. It, it looks at one, looks at the other, looks at one, looks at the other, at the command of the game. Of the, uh, the game can tell it which one to look at. So if you alternate back and forth every so often, it can, it can read both of them because the computer is faster than a human, right? If you press in it, I don't think you could press fast enough, faster than it can read and catch you pressing it. I think that's the, the whole key. 
Uh, the Quad Atari allows you to multiplex between two controller devices on the same physical port. Although the entire device maps to four ports to two physical ports, each half of the Quad Atari functions completely separately. Just switch back. We had a focus. No, we're pretty good. Um, and thus can be used independently. Player one and three share the first Atari port. Mm. Um, and player two and four share the second Atari port. Uh, this allows for various configurations of controllers, and that's why you can have anything on any port. Hmm. So it just flips over and starts reading one and flips and starts reading the other. Um, but you do have to handle it in a very specific way if you're, you're, for, you're a programmer. And probably even more so for the Atari Vox mm -hmm. and the uh, save key so, you don't, so it doesn't get interrupted if there's a flow. But probably you only need to do that at certain times and you won't be taking input during those times for the save key, right? It's like, okay, you made it to the next level, flip to the save key, you don't need any input, save it, verify, mm. flip back to the joystick if you're using the save key, yeah. Uh, Gorf Arcade will support the Quadtari for two player alternating plus Atari Voc voices and Excellent. saves. Excellent. Right. Um, and then there's much more detailed instructions and you can see all of this on his uh, website here under the development guide. There's lots of more information. Um, and also there are there's a bunch of Batari basic support that Carl G has done mm -hmm. um, that we're going to be playing tonight because he's made three example programs as long as well as the Batari basic code mm -hmm. that he's supplied for people. So people can start making Quad Tari games right now cool. in Batari basic. Nice. Um, which is which is really great that everything kind of comes together at the same time which is really how you want new hardware to be supported because you can't just put out a piece of hardware and go there's no games for it good luck nobody will buy it because there's no games to play on it mm. you have to kind of have them both being developed at the same time um which they have and this is why we're able to do the show tonight um so he always gave it, made a uh, instructional for how to put the kit together. Um, you need solder, screwdriver, mm. and a small hex screwdriver. Uh, basic soldering skills. I could do it. Yay. <laughs> um, and there is an extensive FAQ that we may or may not be going through because tonight we're both playing constantly, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, so I won't have a lot of time to just talk about it, but That's okay. quickly There's... we're going to go over some stuff here. What systems support it? Uh, Retron 77, a physical quad tire does not work when connected to the front ports, nor when connected to uh, USB OTG. However, virtual quad tire support hmm. has been added to Stella. So you can play quad tire games on Stella right now, even if you don't have the quad tire. Yes. So you just virtually. need yeah. four inputs oh, nice. in Stella on your computer. Nice. Or on Retron that's, 77. That's very cool. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Collector Vision Phoenix, which we have up there. It's not tested, but in theory it should work. If I have time, I, I was planning on trying to get it done for tonight and um, installing the 2600 FPGA into the Collector Vision Phoenix. I don't I don't even know what that is. It's uh, ColecoVision. Um not emulator it's it's an actual it's, hard but it's physical hardware physical hardware what does it look like it's a hardware emulator i i <laughs> i'm like i can't even picture it uh we played it once uh not while you were on the show that's probably why i can't remember uh it's very cute I feel like that attached. yeah so i don't think it's labeled yeah it is it's this Oh, okay. Collector vision phoenix yeah i don't think i have played that but that's very cute clico yeah. cartridges go on the top there nice um, it also has, it's based on FPGA, so it's hardware mm. emulation, which means it's perfect, unless there's a bug. Mm. Um, and there are different cores you can load onto it, and there's a 2600 core, oh. which means you can play 2600 games perfectly through hardware, and it has HDMI out. Mm. So this is a really cool device. That is very cool. Uh, I think it's sold out right now. Or they're making new ones. I can't remember. So good luck, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> if Anyone? you're looking for one, yeah. Yeah, I I always try and make sure I buy hardware as soon as it comes out mm. because 
you always see like a month later it's gone mm. um atari 7800 the quad atari works on a 7800 running in 2600 mode uh you can play 2600 compatible games um and it says you should be able to play make a 7800 7800 game with single buttons because this won't uh pass through the uh, dual buttons because that works completely different didn't know they actually shipped the phoenix oh, a long time ago that's mm. that's a couple years old though um atari flashback 2 the quad atari should work on a modified flashback 2 one that's been modded to include the cartridge port um because i think that was a system on a chip it was like actual hardware emulation of mm. atari 2600 atari 8-bit systems so it should work on the xegs if somebody makes something for it this theory it's possible since the 8-bit and 2600 bit has a similar controller interfaces mm. So really, all it needs to do is send a signal. It flips over, reads the other thing. Mm. So as, as long as it can send the same signals to this as the 2600, which it can, they're Then in theory, ports. it can be used, yeah. Yeah. Uh, would Red Green Sue of Red Green Homebrew were made? <laughs> You'll have to see. Yeah. Find out, I guess. Yeah. Unless maybe he's a good sport about it. <laughs> he probably is. <laughs> I would probably say so. Yeah. He's I don't now know. Now seventy five years old, Steve yeah. Smith. It's funny, he that show was what one of my dad's absolute favorites. Yeah? Yes. Love that show. I think he related to to Steve Smith and the, he, they had two shows before that that i watched they had a yeah. variety show is a sketch comedy show oh really like way back when and then they had a sitcom before that with, really with their kids as the actors oh it was yeah they, it was not neither of them were very good yeah very but dry they, humor they found their their they found their niche with the red Green oh show. yeah yeah oh that's good yeah, yeah. he was probably a one of the skits on the sketch show and evolve from there. It evolved. That's that usually how it sense. works. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, there's a lot more blah, blah, blah uh, to read, but we're going to get into the game. <laughs> yes, games, I know games. That's what you're all here for. <laughs> like, why are we talking? Play some, play some video games. Play some games. <laughs> so how you hook it up. Yeah. There are two connectors mm -hmm. and we're going to be playing four player games at first. So we're going to cook, hook up both connectors, mm -hmm. one to the uh, left port, one to the right port. shocked all over the place i know it's very dry because again we don't get cold weather here it's usually very quite the opposite and then you plug in you plug joysticks. stuff in and uh you get uh, zapped i i zapped uh, pixel he came and he nu <laughs> he nuzzled up against my arm he got a nice jolt of static electricity cats, didn't like that too much cats are used to it now <laughs> it's very dry very so dry so i think you guys can kind of see the quad tire on the floor yeah you can yeah these are yours. Oh, oh, two. Thank you. Yep. Since we're in lockdown, we have to play all four players, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh, well, that'll be interesting. But you can play two and then switch off <laughs> and stuff. Yeah, that's true. Um, so let's get to it. The first one up is the quad games, of which there are five. Mm. Hey, VH, let's see. Uh, no, you can't. Hmm? You working? Mm-hmm. Am I picking? Oh my goodness! Oh wow! It's because I plugged it in afterwards. Maybe. That's funny. Was because it working I, before? No, because I plugged it in and then turned it on. Oh. But now we turned it on and then plugged it in, and it's working. Well, it's on. It's on three. So the three is working. The three is working. Yeah. <gasps> Interesting. What about the other ones? Uh. No, nope, control. No, nope. no, nope, just number three. So and there this you go. isn't, so three is working. So that's good. <laughs> that's it's the one at the top left, so yeah. on A, which makes sense, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. What but, am I picking? Sorry. Uh, quad games. Uh, uh, quad games. Nope, you were on. <laughs> you were on it. Oh. <laughs> that's probably why you missed it. Yeah. Okay. Let's load it up. Excellent. So this is actually really interesting how this works. Um, so you can have one to four players on each of these games okay and people opt in by pressing the button Ew. if they want to play so you should be able to press a button uh no just press it. don't press anything but the button okay and there pink one blue one and green Ooh. one there we go uh so this is joust um this is going to be interesting. Now, we, we will 
they'll they'll just land if you don't play. So and then you press game reset. Oh no! You, what did you do? Nothing. Did you I press the button again? Didn't think I hit it, but oh. maybe I did. Okay. You're messing things up by pressing things. Okay, so oh my goodness. Jeff. <laughs> so we're all playing now. Okay, let's see what this one is. Which one am I? Okay, this one's blue. Because the other two have been killed, because we are trying to play them with our off hands. Is there noises? What is happening? One second. Oh, there we go. Oh, you got Just me. Couldn't hear it. And you won. I won? Yay! Well, I guess we got two and two each. No, we just start up again. Press button. Oh. So it, it handles very much like Joust. So how we're gonna play it is like I guess play two two of these people to a So you have other. to you have to opt, so if I swap <laughs> my second one is green. It's like having backup players. Tap the button to keep going. Yeah. That's very cool. And it's like uh, infinite joust. <laughs> there's no bottom or yeah, top. Yeah, there's no bottom. <laughs> which is very strange. Oh. You have to readjust your uh, your joust sensibilities. Because you, <laughs> you fly off the top of the you screen. You fly up and up and up. Yeah. But that's actually kind of good for a four-man joust. It is. It opens it up more. I think that's maybe what he was going for. Let's see what happens if you fall infinitely. Infinite. Faster and faster. Uh, no, there's a terminal velocity. <laughs> At you. This is awesome. It is pretty cool. It really feels like the controls of Joe's. And that actually makes it a lot more tricky because you can come down um, from the top on somebody when they're not expecting it. Or they they can uh, land on you too. Oh! Ha -ha! <laughs> I don't know what it goes up to. Let's see. I don't know if there's any instructions posted for any of these but because they're pretty self-explanatory how you play them wake up the blue <laughs> awaken from your deadly slumber it's a necromancy joust go. game that's right You hold both of them and uh, press to the side. You can get all, uh, get them all going at once, <laughs> and just randomly. We'll call this uh, chaos joust. <laughs> chaos joust. <laughs> click, 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 click. <laughs> yeah, that is the sound of a 500 XJ from Epix. It's the clicky, click, click, and also the movement. They are the clickiest joysticks ever. Great for precision, bad for if you. They would not good for this game because you have to press the button a lot. But they are just. They're good overall. Oh, win! Guess who's to ten? To ten? I guess so. Yep. Very okay. fun. Very, Very fun. fun. Uh, we're gonna upcoming mm -hmm. when this is all over, the situation. Uh, we're mm -hmm. going to have a multiplayer marathon with four people we're going to play all the multiplayer games um so this and like all the quadtari games mm -hmm. and maybe uh champs ice hockey nice we'll, we'll schedule it for that maybe yeah. depends on when it comes out yeah. right yeah, yeah 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 okay so this is combat let's press your buttons oh press them again press Press. Thank you. Should be started. Yep, there we go. So, this does feel a little bit different than combat. And they move, and they move a little bit different. Actually, you can back up in this one. Oh! Cheater. I was demonstrating. <laughs> oh, also, you can hold your bullet. <laughs> if you hold down the button, it does. it stays right at you. And the diagonals are kind of, kind of, kind of funny and skatey. Oh, let's get on the same line. 
Oh, you, you want to get on the same line? Oh. You killed somebody. Oh. You show up in whatever corner is free. Interesting. Or is that not your original? That's your original corner. No, but I'm I'm I'm, I'm using my red guy now cuz my red guy was shot. What? My yellow guy's back nope. there. No. Nope. Isn't it? Nope. It's I'm, all showing up in the confused? correct corners. All right. No idea how this works. Need a 2600 Bomberman more than ever now. Mm-hmm. Well, somebody's working a 7800 Bomberman. Yeah. Man. Now that we have this wonderful device on the Quadtari, uh, called the Quadtari, then he can make a four-player Bomberman. I wasn't shooting there for a second. That would be unbelievable. Of course, it only has one button, so... Bomberman have more than one button? Oh, I knew that would happen. You can steer your shots? Oh, you can? Oh, you can! Nice! Oh, you do show up in different quadrants. You do. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> should have to always always start get your tanks and you have to protect both of them <laughs> you're making up rules <laughs> rule I'm maker for your pink one. Oh, coming for your pink tank oh. okay oh oh damn it oh in the walls. <laughs> Going on the defensive. Oh my god. Steer. Oh, damn it. Oh! Got it. Curved oh. around the corner. <laughs> okay. Oh, he always does that. <laughs> oh, I won. Hey! No, you didn't. <laughs> it's not over yet. Okay, this... I don't know if we're going to be able to play this one with two players. This one is like Missile Command. Okay, press the button. Mm -hmm. Blue screen to death. Uh, so you pre pretty much have to concentrate on one of your guys. You have to get all the bombs. I'll stick on the left side. You stay on the right. Ah! Kind of like, yeah, simplified missile time. Ah! Uh, ah. <laughs> so it's, it's cooperative mm. in the sense that um, you can't let too many hit the ground, mm. but you're also competing for score. So you want to get as many as you can, yeah. but you don't want to let any hit the ground. Yeah. Oh, you can hold the button to move faster. Oh. Ready? Ah! Damn it. That is a little bit easier. It's a slight hesitation when um, you hold down the button, but then you start going crazy. Ah! Ah! Sorry. Or do you get... No. You're not getting score. You're getting negative score. But how does it know that... Oh, damn it. How does it know that it, you missed? Ah. Oh no. Are you oh, green? Does it, yeah, I'm yellow. Oh, no, yeah. No, I'm, I'm yellow. Yeah, I'm green. Get that one. Oh, my score went down. Oh no, you're going after your own uh, missiles. The ah. color of your missiles. <laughs> oh. That makes sense. I get it now. Yep, 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 yep. It's, so, for, it's for the color. You go after your own color. The score isn't per player on that one, despite the color. It's just a four-digit <laughs> score display. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, no wonder it doesn't oh. make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> cute. Yep. Very cute. Like, this is a pack-in game. Mm -hmm. And it's great to kind of show off. And you can go left and right with the... Uh, oh, is this uh, racing? Yep. So how do you start? Oh, you just press again. 
you don't need to get up. Ah! ah. I'm terrible at this. Oh, he's there fast. Ah! Ah! Oh, so you get a point every time you go down the left or right side. We should start the other guys, too. <laughs> I mean, there are four guys in this. Just well, we can't, we can't control them all, so... We'll, sh we'll bring them in after. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Sit the sides. I'm terrible at racing games. They're, like, lapping me. <laughs> ah, ah. Coming again. Ah. Can you crash into each other? No, Whoa. I don't think so. That oh. would be fun, though. Is it Mario Kart? Can you let off uh, bananas and well, spin out your... Button. Look at me. Look at this. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Clearly on a totally different track. In oh, there. the driving controllers can be programmed for this. So oh, you can have cool. four driving controllers. That's cool. So you can make a racing game with four uh, four controllers and a kind of steering wheel. Ah, stuck in the wall. Ah! Once you get stuck in the wall, it's not a good, you're kind it's of, not a good time. You're kind of messed. <laughs> Yay! Good job. So let's good job. get four people going. So press all the buttons. Okay, we're gonna crash into the wall. Is this four there? Sure. Did you press the, all the buttons? There you go. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Straight into the wall. <laughs> but there you go. You can have four people uh, with joysticks. Ah! We'll try and play all four. No, you can't crash into each other. Ah! Ah. Oh, my play field there for a second. Now get my blue. Is Bob working on Pac Man versus to use this thing? <gasps> That'd be so amazing. Four-player Pac-Man uh, with uh, you and you and three ghosts, right? Oh yeah! Right? Oh my god! That doesn't even use the button. <laughs> Can easily do that. That's so good. That'd be amazing. Well, I'm sure Bob would be interested in making another Pac-Man game now that that one that's available. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> He's covered all of them, almost. Okay. Get the idea of that one. Nope, stop it. Nope, stop it. Okay, this one is uh, surround mm. or Tron like cycles. Okay, press the button. I am blue and green. What? And you're both dead. What happened there? <laughs> Something funny. You crashed into things. It wasn't turning. Or maybe I wasn't turning properly. Okay, I'll die. There you go. Yay! Okay, ready? Yeah. What? What is going on? Is this on or off? Which, how is this turning? Is it turning? This one's working. You're yellow. I know! Why are you randomly pressing? What? Oh, it's... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm thinking I'm turning relative to the, the oh, direction I'm facing. No, you press up, down, left, right. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> no, it's still not going up. It's got to be this switch. There we go. There we go. Oh, you messed with the switch? Yeah. Don't touch the switch. Four player surround, yes. He already has a mode in Pac-Man collection where two players can be a ghost. Just expand on that, making use of the Quadtari. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> the two bottom players just crash into each other. Ooh. Can you speed up? No, you can't. Oh, you're up there, are you? Oh, God. I think that was a mistake. Oh, does it speed up? Is it speeding up? Ah! <laughs> Damn it. I like wormy games. <laughs> oh, didn't turn fast enough. Oh, 
<laughs> Tricky. Well, we'll see see if you can get out of this one. I think Let's I'm see. ahead of you. Yep. Good luck up there. <laughs> yeah, it speeds up. I thought so. It felt like it sped up just a tiny bit. Play the waiting game. <laughs> oh, it speeds up quite a bit. Oh my god. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just mirroring. Oh, okay. You're over there, are you? Well, then you're going to stay over there. Synchronized snaking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm ah. not good at turning quickly, so... <laughs> I want to see how fast it goes. Yeah? Well, then we'll avoid each other and try to go as long as possible. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, nope, that's no. not how I play this game. <laughs> <laughs> it's about cutting you off. That's right. But you have to survive. Come mm. on. Oh, oh, I, I can't. Come sorry, on. I'm not. It's speeding okay, up and it's messing me let's up. Let's see so. how fast it goes. I'll stay away from yeah. you. You stay on that side. <laughs> it speeds up and then it throws me off. The others have a bit of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they crash into each other. They're just like, and done. Stay on your side. What are you doing? I'm just space. That's no. all. No. Stay on your half. Oh, man, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, my God, it gets fast. Oh, I'm not fast enough when it, ah, when it speeds up. Ah, what are you doing? On? No, I hit down twice. It's very sensitive. Stay in your half. What are you doing? Stay in your half. I will. You're left. I'm like... <laughs> What half? The upper half? The lower <laughs> half? Left half. The left half? <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Come on! <laughs> it moves really fast, and this joystick is kind of crappy, so... <laughs> it does not have the preciseness. Oh! Winner! Yeah, I did not hit down. And those are the five games. So a great batch of games. Very good batch of games. Um, especially if you have four people. And you can just play with two. So uh, let's play this with two. This with two? Yep. Press the button. Okay. Because last time we didn't really play this one. We were messing around. Now I'm going to kind of come to kill you. Coming to kill you. <laughs> Are you? Are you? Is that what you're doing? Trying to. You look like you're just flapping around. Oh! <laughs> Death from above. This needs a pterodactyl. Oh, to spice things up after a bit. People are taking too long. In comes the pterodactyl. To spice things up. <laughs> if nobody scored something in, in like uh, a couple minutes, it's like, nope. Oh. Actually, with four people, it's, it's always going to be death. So yeah, gonna there's going to be a lot quick. of frequent deaths. Oh. Oh. Yes. <laughs> James loves Joust. Mm, it's very hard. Oh, you like this game. It's fun. You but always hard. get really competitive when this game comes up. <laughs> it is a game you like. I've noticed it's shown up on a lot of our retro game nights in the Joust? in competition. Oh, yes. Oh right, yeah. It's just because it's hard and it's it's a pretty quick game if you're not like an expert at it. Ah. Uh.
<laughs> it's more about using the using the gravity. Ah! <laughs> oh, coming for you! Ah, no! Oh, oh we bounced. <laughs> good. That's good to. Oh, 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 oh. yes! <laughs> Oh, so close. I like the wraparound. I do it too. It adds, it adds, <laughs> adds a very different element to this game. Nowhere I drop from the ceiling. Infinite drop, infinite drop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we bounced. Oh, so oh, close. That was close. So close. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh. no, no, no. Skidding all over the place. Yeah. Needs the skid noises. <clears throat> oh. These guys are very floppy. <laughs> oh, oh no. no. Yes, one more. <laughs> I'm on a ledge. Look. Oh, you are on a ledge. I'm are you ledge. flapping? Nope. Oh, you got Win. <laughs> There's a invisible ledge there. <laughs> These different platform layouts in some way have them change automatically. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would be yeah. kind of cool. Where it, it, it just the layout just, changes. Just different layouts, yeah. yeah. Or one platform disappears. Yeah. One comes back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I, I like that one. That one's fun. That's going to be a fun four player. Yeah. It's going to be chaos. Oh, yeah. Which makes games like this fun when four pe it's four people and it's chaotic. I'm going to grab something. I'm going to be right okay. back is, if that's I'll okay. I'll read some you stuff out to, um, about the next game, which is you. Modern Warfare. Modern, modern Battle, sorry. Not Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare. <laughs> modern Warfare. Um, so that was Quad Games uh, by Nathan Tolbert, who has also made Anguna 2600 and uh, Robo Ninja Climb. The next game is an exclusive work in progress premiere by Marco Johannes, Marco J, who also made Pit Cat, an amazing, amazing 2600 game. Um, so we've got some instructions here. And I will, I'll just turn it on so we got, you guys can see it. Um, and I can just show you what it is. battle so here's the layout of the screen um drink break modern warfare would be a different game yes it would be modern battle for the atari 2600 a four-player military combat game use quadtari to allow four players simultaneous play the joystick and fire button control a tank or helicopter in this demo both craft are equipped with missiles and a minigun. In this game, you must control both the direction and distance of the shot fired in order to hit the target. Um, so there are two types of weapons in this. Um, and he sent this over just today, like hours ago. Um, he sent this over. Um, so the controls uh, to fire a missile... I'll just uh, show you guys. There are too many controllers here. Let's get these things away. That we're going to be using for robo robot war I almost said the wrong name uh robot war later and which one's mine it's too many too many controllers there we go so which one is this controller okay tank in the bottom left so i can go back and forward and you can see my health at the top it's the yellow and you can see my shot, which is this small yellow dot. And I can either move the tank 
left, right, back, forward. Or if I hold the button, I can move my aim. You can move it in, move it out. Oh, let's not go off the screen. Uh, you can move it left and right. So it's kind of like a, a circle arc. Not that I'm biased. It's fantastic as it is. Is It's fantastic is what it is. Uh, so you can fire a missile. So if I just press the button, that fires a missile, which is much more powerful. Oh, sliding off the screen here. Or you can hold it down and it fires a minigun. Uh, now you can change the speed up and down while not pressing the fire. The speed can be applied forward and reverse too. Uh, the vehicle accelerates and keeps the momentum while performing other functions Ooh. for tanks. The vehicle direction and speed can be operated independently of the turret. Rotate the vehicle. Uh, use left right joystick while not pressing fire. Uh, reset sets up the two tanks, two helicopters. Select start sets up the game with four tanks. Um, so we're going to use the helicopters and tanks at first. Okay. So here, What's what? whichever controller you want to use. Hmm. So that one is the gray tank in okay. the bottom corner. Ah, I'm moving. Ah, ah. Yep. So forward and back is forward and back. Uh, and nobody doubts. Uh, nobody doubts of your impartiality. So and then my other joystick is. Okay, so I'm on the left-hand side, is the orange helicopter. Huh. So I'm going to come and take the Del Orange helicopter and destroy your tank. What is going on here? You're having trouble with controls again? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. destroyed. Very nice. You're destroyed. So you might want to pick up your other, your other joystick. Oh. There's something going on here. This is work in progress. <laughs> That's okay. It That's looks okay. really neat. I'm going to reset. Yeah. Just so things are back to where they are. Oh, there's a cat who wants in. Hold on. <sighs> Just to interrupt the gameplay. Hi, sir. Come on in. Oh, push your way in. I'm sorry. Okay. So pick the joystick up. I'll show you how to control it. Do the other one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Press forward. Okay. You're a helicopter. See it up there? Forward is forward, back is back, left is turn yeah, left. Yeah, but I'm, right I'm moving right. forward regardless, so. There's momentum, so you want to press back if you're going too far. So we're crashing into each other, probably damaging each other. Our rotors are stuck! Oh, you destroyed forward. me! Oh, you destroyed <laughs> me! <laughs> Death by rotor. Oh, I can still shoot you. Even though I'm, I'm not destroyed. moving. Oh, I'm not almost destroyed. Because you... You flew right into me. Yeah. And now you're on top of me. But I'm trying to turn around and get away from you, okay. and it won't let me move. Don't fly into <laughs> me. Just press forward. Yeah. And you're moving forward. Okay. Press back, and you move back. Oh, Turn okay. left, you, you go But you left. continue to go forward. You, you can find a spot where you're, there's no momentum. Really? It slows after a while? Yeah. It might be difficult, but uh, yeah. I can't quite. I definitely can't quite. Wow. Oh, I see. It's momentum. Oh, I, I, no, it's weird, but. Ow! I get it. It's like, why isn't it just going in the direction I'm trying to put point in it? <laughs> Ow. Ah, we're stuck and I'm destroyed. And you're stuck too. Go back, too. go back, go back. Now, now we're, we're both, both destroyed. destroyed. <laughs> okay. Very cool though. Now we pick up the tank. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's very cool. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. The, the, the helicopter's just exploded all over the place. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> So you can press the button for a missile or hold down the button for um, the machine gun. I feel like Darcy would really like this game. <laughs> he likes anything yes. with tanks. Oh, he loves tanks. 
Is he, he plays like World of Tanks? World of Tanks yeah. is his thing, yeah. Why am I not going backwards? Am I going forwards? No. Oh, okay. That's why. Nope. Going backwards now? Sure! <laughs> sure, we'll go backwards for a bit. Oh, almost got you. There we go. Oh, it looked like you were almost on fire. Sure. <laughs> it's very cool. It think, looks amazing. I, I think, really love it. I don't think you need another beer. <laughs> I just find I find the controls very strange, but it's very cool looking. Uh, helicopter sprite yeah. is awesome too. Yeah. I like how they kind of disintegrate. They kind of go. So, now we have four tanks. Oh, you can play I with see. There's different, now. different. So it's got water, and it's got a road down there, and it's got a lot of obstacles, and you can't drive into the obstacles; they block no. you. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, oh, oh they moved out of the way. Don't run into me! Stop running into me! Why not? Because we both die. <laughs> we get stuck on each other and die. Where's my shoot? Where's my shot going? How do I control my shot? You could kill me. But how do I control my shot? Okay, your shot is now off the screen. Because... Why? Okay, stop. Stop. Why is my shot off the screen? Uh, press down the button. Now press down to bring your shot in. Oh. Now press down to bring it in. Yeah. So it's not like off in this distance. Yeah. There it is. You see it now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I just didn't realize holding the button would allow me to adjust the shot. That uh, was not okay. something you explained, so. Well, I explained it to the audience. Yeah, not while to you're, me. While you're getting. My beer. Getting your beer. Oh, I won't let me shoot you. So you have to hold down the button and then press down to bring it in closer to you. Now press up to bring it a little bit further out. Oh, you're adjusting it. Yeah. I'm dead now anyway. Neat. It's neat, though. It's really cool. Crashing into the background will blow you up. Yeah. Yes. Crashing into anything will blow you up. Mm. So, uh, goals for the future development. Allow multiple screens and possibility of random generated levels. Mm. So, different layouts. Mm. Uh, like destructible that. terrain from missile fire. Ooh. Which will blow you things can up. blow through walls so you can create a hole to shoot through and things like that. Yeah, so you could actually start Ooh. them That's cool. inside a base if you wanted to. Oh, like yeah. a tank. And like you have to blast blow, your way out, blow kind of? your way out of the base. That's cool. Because the opponent will have to do that too. Yeah. Like if you start them both, all mm -hmm. four in corners, uh, a battleship sea unit. Yeah. So you could have an ocean Just, area. Yeah. Where there's like a barrier where the battleships can't go past. Or even just like a T zone where like you can go up and down and then in and out or something like you could yes. you, you, where you can't go like across the whole way. yeah the whole screen and but you could have riverways to cover and different uh, corners yeah but what I was thinking cool. is that right now the helicopters have a distinct advantage they can fly anywhere so you have to kind They're of make obstructed. them yeah a little bit less powerful than the tanks maybe. Um, because it's just not fair that the tanks have to go around everything and the helicopters can just fly away and fly yeah. through things. True. Um, floor player worms. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Worms Armageddon. Um, Love it. A jet plane air unit. Yep. That can only fly. Like they can't back up. They always have to. Mm. Of course, you'd have to have looping around you the do. screen. Yeah. That's the only way you can Lots do. of ideas. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes. Lots of ideas. Lots of good ideas. Yes. Um, Infantry and the howitzer land units, mm. little guys that walk around. Just create a civilizations awesome. game, and I'll just I'll be happy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and uh, okay, build your city. And, yeah. Okay, now you're building. <laughs> Infantry will be have the ability to hide behind terrain and be immune to bullet fire while hidden. Oh. That's cool. However, missile fire can destroy their cover. Mm -hmm. Then they'll be vulnerable. So if you see a guy hiding, you destroy the cover. Yeah. Then the guy is is vulnerable. Is vulnerable and has to run away. Yeah. Single slash two player campaign mission mode allow movement screen to screen in multiple directions. Mm. Oh, wow, that's cool. Um, and guided missiles, so heat seeking missiles as well. Mm. So you could have uh, mm. uh, different types of uh, stuff. Likely too complex. 2600 Utopia with four players, maybe. Somebody, uh, oh, what's his name, made a Utopia. Mm -hmm. um, but unfortunately, it was really, really, really flashy. Remember Atarian? Oh. And it was Utopia. He had different things you could place on the map. Mm -hmm. But it was just a 
just tons of flashing yeah and it was really hard to see mm. so the represent he had the idea and it was working but the representation was really hard to mm. understand so i am looking forward to advancements on this um, especially with all the different types of units that's going to be awesome i already think it looks amazing like like yes. even though it's just very simple sprites i think um it just has that feel of like a battleground I like it a mm -hmm. lot. Yeah. Yeah, it works really well. Yeah, it looks really good. The bold colors of the water and the grass yeah. and the roadway. I think it might just need to be cleaned up a bit mm. um, because there's lots of little dots like orange and, and gray dots there. Make like clumps of green, yeah. clumps it, it, of orange. It's pretty good for obstacles though when you're a tank. So. Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. Mm. And right now the tanks can go through the water, which they're probably not supposed to. Well, sim tanks can cross rivers, so yeah, that's shallow. not that crazy. <laughs> uh, mule, yeah. yeah, of course, that's the ultimate. I think a mule would be better on the 7800. Mm. Mule is, there's a lot of stuff mm. in a row, like a lot of symbols that have to be horizontal. Mm. It'd be really hard to do on the 2600. I think the 7800 would be better, better for mule. Option, yeah. yeah, I would love to see mule. And Darcy is also a big fan of mule, so any developers out there... Mm. Uh, 7,800 developers that yeah. want to play a four play make a four player mule. Oh my god! They'll be all we'll on be, top. Of we'll that. be all over that. We'll <laughs> playing multiple sessions of of mule. That's for sure. Uh, so the next game we're going to be playing is actually three games, uh, by Carl Garrison, uh, Raindrop, Space Debris, and mm -hmm. Witch's Tower. And these are all demo uh, type games. Mm -hmm. They can uh, just change the name from mule to uh, what's a not donkey. It has to be a four-letter word. That's probably not going to work. Hmm? It is. Oh, it's it was. still working. Yeah. That's awesome. Sorry, which one it... are we going next? Uh... Uh, raindrops. Okay. So... Elam, yeah. <laughs> Elam, there you go. Yeah, yeah, good You'd stuff. You'd have to make up the acronym mean something. Mm -hmm. um, so this is uh raindrops by carl garrison uh it's uh the included demo game raindrops uh you're a magical flying umbrella mm. like all magical flying umbrellas your goal is to avoid getting hit by raindrops of course because <laughs> they're magical they're not normal umbrellas yeah and capture purple things that fly across the mm. sky if you get hit by a raindrop you go back to the starting point if you capture the purple thing you gain a point mm. First player to nine points wins the game. So you, yours are the blue and red, and I am the green and orange. And I'm gonna play the green guy. Oh. Yeah, the code is not quite right. It's it's mostly working, mm -hmm. but I can... If I press to the... Maybe it's this joystick. I can only go... No, it's not. Something For the record. a little bit weird. Yeah. Like moving right... Moving up and down is fine. Totally, totally fine. Uh, moving left and right is a bit weird and chunky, especially left. Right seems to be okay. Left seems to be stop and go. Mm. If I press it, it does move, but if I hold it, there's a little bit of trouble sometimes. Mm. Worked on our joysticks here. Hmm. We cannot see the game. <gasps> what? Well, oh no. That's no good. There you go. <laughs> it's not very useful, is it? No. <laughs> Maybe it's this joystick. It could be the joystick. I'm going to switch joysticks. Never mind. I think it's the joystick. Because I was having a bit of weirdness in the other games. I'm going to have to mark that joystick. Ooh, I think that joystick was marked. Was marked for being marked. Oh, <laughs> but it never got oh. marked. Because I remember playing a game a couple episodes ago. Yes, that was probably. I was like, oh, this joystick's oh, not on. moving left. Never mind. 
It's not your it's not your code. It's my joystick. Sorry for blaming your code. <laughs> this is this is this is why I included these these games because they're, they're actually really fun. Yeah. They're simple, which you know the first games out of the gate are gonna be uh, fast games that are like um, demo games, proving grounds uh, to make to practice the code and practice uh, making sure things work. Nine. Good job. Very you nice. Almost got me. Get one more. Ready? Mm-hmm. And go. Cool. That's gonna be yours. No. Nope. Mm -mm. Oh. Did I get it? Oh, I think I did get it. The trick is to kind of get up high and then not get hit while you're waiting around up high for it. But you can't stay up too high because the raindrops are coming. And I love the color of the raindrops change as they come in on the screen. You can see they're dark and then they change to light. Almost as if there's a shading on the top and the bottom of the screen. It's gorgeous. Great job, Carl. Mm -hmm. I do it's like very that. Simple it umbrellas. makes them look shimmery. The raindrops look shimmery. Hi, Amiga Kami. Oh, can't handle the 1080p screen. <laughs> Just three megabits per, per second. Thanks for Amiga Kami's for following. Yay. Thanks for following. You can watch it on YouTube later uh, and you'll be able to set whatever you want. Avoid blue blocks for high score. Mm. Yes. <laughs> That's like one of the early instructions on like arcade games. It, yeah. They wanted to make like three lines. Oh, yeah, yeah. What was it for Pong? That It was in the some documentary about how they had to make the game really simple so people would play it. Oh, yeah. And the instructions were like just one or two lines yeah 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 it's like avoid missing ball for high score yeah <laughs> that was the instructions hey, if you can summarize it in a Pong, sentence yes that's fabulous oh yeah. i got it before you did oh. avoid missing ball for high score avoid yeah. missing ball for high score yeah i mean mm -hmm. that's the playoff and that's mm -hmm. why you prompted that okay so that's a really good demo and he said i Rain drops, yeah. I created a f simple four-player quadtari game for batari basic using the standard kernel. My implementation uses a small code change to the standard kernel, which should be rolled into future Batari re release. Mm. Versions for the multi-sprite kernel and DPC plus kernels will be forthcoming, which we'll be playing. So uh, he's done a demo, so people can mm. make their own Batari basic four-player games now. Mm. So he's made, he's given example code uh, for this. So they can just go, oh, that's how you do four-player. And it really is very, simple Im implementation that he's made that uh, Nathan has made for this mm -hmm. like I said before you just send a signal and it flips to the other player read that other player send the signal flip to the other player read that player and you just keep going back and forth mm -hmm. fast enough that you don't miss a, an input an input yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. okay so the next game we're gonna be playing is space debris And this uh, this is a version for the multi-sprite kernel. It is used the same way as standard kernel, except there will be a mul modified multi-sprite kernel as you place in your project directory. Um, I'll leave you guys to read about the code. Uh, you are piloting in a piloting competition in a hazardous sector. You are competing against two other pilots to see who can demonstrate the best piloting skills. Avoid the space debris and the asteroids flying towards your ship. Oh. <laughs> Each, Avoid, eh? <laughs> each hit reduces your shield strength by one. Uh, the last pilot with the remaining shields wins. So avoid everything. everything. I am orange. I'm blue. Looks like we're missing a pilot already. Did he die already? Yeah. Oh or he's, he's just not there. Oof. 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 Oh. So you, so you have uh, your shield on the bottom of the screen? I assume that's the... How? Ow. Oh. Blue has one left. I know. Things oh, keep hitting me. Eliminated. Hitting oh, me. Where's green? Uh, green's just not there. But he's got nine shields. That's I weird. I know. I guess it just. That's really weird. Where's green? 
Because he, he's invisible. What the hell? There is no green. Oh, no, he changed. This is the updated version. There yeah. is no green. <laughs> yeah, but green has a score. Yeah, he, he just updated this today. Uh, I guess he didn't eliminate, eliminate the score. can't remember what he did, why he changed it down. Uh, change to a three player to demonstrate using the left port only. Mm. Oh, okay. Anyway, we'll just ignore green. Yeah. We'll start over. Ready. So Tanya's red. Mm. And I am orange. She's taken a lot of hits. Mm-hmm. Blue is gone. I think it's a shame that you can only move front and back a tiny bit <laughs> to avoid those 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 gigantic. Um, it's for expert pilots meteoroids. only. I know, but like you can't avoid them at all. When yeah, they you come can. for you, you can barely move forward and back. Look there to there. Oh, you know there what? To there. So that's the, that's my only my only thing is you have very the, little room to to the dodge. The middle player has a distinct advantage over the meteors. Do you? Yeah, because they, they go from one angle. They angle themselves. Yeah. They mostly hit. Uh, not always. Oh, I just got hit twice in a row, of course. And, oh, what? Not dead yet. Stuck on zero. <gasps> I am infinite. <laughs> <laughs> I can absorb all oh, of it. Oh, isn't that, that was funny? Weird. Something weird going on there. Yeah. Oh, there are a few little, little Always bugs. bet on green. <laughs> always bet on green, yeah. That's right. Green's green wins just again. Like, Green has the invisibility cloak. <laughs> that is fun. Mm. Probably moving a bit more to the right would be good. I think you should be able Just to go a little, little bit, bit further because it doesn't really help you dodge yeah. all that much. But. I cranked out these pretty quickly with minimal testing. Oh. <laughs> That's why Still we're pretty here. pretty cool. We're yeah. here for a test. Yeah. <laughs> it, that, it is fun. but uh, Yeah, that's a fun game. Yeah. Especially elimination. Like, like one player just is gone now and you're... You're racing against the yeah. last two, and then like three, four down to three, down to two, down to one. Yeah, I'm nice. waiting for a four player Tetris. Can you do that? No. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you can do anything, it's just how good it looks. Yeah, um, yeah, you could either divide up the it'd be hard to put mm. them all vertically because mm -hmm. that's a lot going on. Mm. Not impossible, probably. Mm -hmm. It'd be better to divide it into like two and then two. Mm. Then you'd have very short vertical throws yes. there. Yeah. Yeah, you made those fast. Yes, like in a couple days. Okay, I don't know if we're going to be able to play the last game because all four people are cooperating, but we'll give it a try. Oh. Uh, which is tower? Okay. Your tower is being attacked by multiple dragons. Dragons can only be defeated by the combined power of four witches, controlling their wands remotely. To shoot a dragon... All four players must be aiming their wands in the same direction, and all oh. four players must be hitting the fire button. Uh. So I don't think this is going to be possible. Oh my goodness. You have to go... Yeah, it's the button part that might be more the... Yeah. What? <laughs> and the dragons come in like one second, too. Like, when you aim your, aim your wands... I'm confused now. Is it the opposite direction? I don't even know what I'm controlling. <laughs> I don't know either. It's so fast. The duck dragon, yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't do that at the same time. And and nothing's firing either. Like, yeah. There's no I, You need four feedback. people. <laughs> You need four people with this one. That's what Where I Where are the cats? Come on, Atari. <laughs> Come here with your little fluffy paws. Somebody asked before the show if the cats were going to be being the other two people. Anyway, you need four people with this yeah. one. It's, it's really <laughs> this might not work. <laughs> challenging. The duck dragon. Warren wants a quarter every time somebody uses a duck dragon. Uh, That's right. Uh, we're going to move on to Galagon, mm. uh, which we can now play with two joysticks plugged into this side and we're going to be changing and the, atari box the, the second port mm. to the atari box That's mm. so i unplug this plug it into the atari box 
Atari Fox Plus. Ready. And if anybody out there has the Galagon box on the back, it says Quad Tari compatible. Ooh. The Quad Tari just came out. How did he know? <laughs> <laughs> He's ahead of his show time. It. Let's see. Can't turn it upside down because the box won't fit against the TV. <laughs> you have to read upside down. Quad Tari compatible, right? There we there. go. Yep. That is super awesome. Clairvoyance. Yes. Okay, <laughs> load it up. So, oh. I missed it. <laughs> it said Quadtari, right? And I wasn't even up. paying attention. Oh, <laughs> Let's do that again. Right. I, was, I was doing stuff. Ready. Because it should say Quadtari compatible. Or Quadtari detected. Safe key found. Quadtari yeah, found. Good yeah. Stuff. It did. It <laughs> said safe key too. Safe key. So, standard. right now we are... Just standard. Both of us are plugged into A, A okay. on port one and three. Um, so we're not doing co-op right away. We should do it right away. Yeah, it doesn't Ow. matter. What did you do? Shocked me. <gasps> That's not a good thing. <laughs> and it turned off the Atari for a second. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's not good. Is it this? Mm, it, it was this, um, uh, this metal here. That's not good. No, I... I I was scuffling on the floor. Oh! And I touched the metal part. Static, then. Yeah. What? No, it's co-op mode standard. You it's don't start together oh, no, unless it's beginner. simple or beginner. But Ow! Did it happen again? Yes. Novice, right? Novice, I think, yeah. Yeah, and again. Player one and two. So this is what That's we want to show. Good. There we go. So we're both playing with the save key installed. And it's not doing anything funky. What's the warranty on the Quatari? And what is the warranty on the Quatari? <laughs> is that that went through the joystick? through the Quadtari into the Atari and dropped out the picture. I'm liking this joystick less and less. <laughs> yeah, it's having trouble. Not wait till the Ed Ladder comes. Alright. Let's do it. No! no! Can't even get it with two! Oh, terrible. I always. The, the problem with two players is you lose mental track of which one you're playing after a while. It did survive. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't fry. You do, you do lose track, because I did. I'm right. I always do. I know. I know. And I have to, like, oh, am uh, I. And I died. No! Help me! Get me back! Don't shoot all the Galagas! I, I won't, I promise. Oh, got an extra life. Ah! Oh, I'll have to get you back. Okay. Oh, that's me! Oh, what? we switch, I guess. Now that. I don't know how that works. Yeah. Got another life? Oh no, we're switching! Oh, we're switching, that's why we Great. died. That's weird. Get him! Get him! Aww! Oh. No, it wasn't over on the right side. On the correct side. Your turn! Don't die! Get me captured! One of them's gonna come down! Don't shoot it! Don't shoot it! Ah, oh don't. my god! You're confusing me! Stop talking! <laughs> <laughs> does it do capture ships with two-player co-op? Yes, it does! Do you have to capture a ship? Okay, next one. Thank you. 
So you have to get your ship back like normally to get to two ships. Yeah. And then you have the two players again. Okay, it should be you only because I'm captured. Mm -hmm. So you have to rescue me. No, I meant dual captures. No, it doesn't do dual captures. It, it, they never come down and try and get you once you have two players. It's just like the normal game. Was turning into something. Double the flicker. Yeah, it would be double the flicker, that's for sure. It'd be constantly flickering at 30 hertz because there'd be four things in the bottom. Ah, I knew I was in the danger ah. zone there. Now I gotta rescue you. I'll get myself captured, which I don't know if I can. Your turn. Oh, oh no! I have to wait till next turn. Get the points. Probably a challenge. Screen. Oh, it's your turn. It's your oh. turn. Thank you. Let me over. Ah, I can even hit anything. Mm. Uh, Crossbow says, John, you do amazing things with sprites on the 2600. When you're going to fix some of the 7800 releases, games with new version. Oh, it changes on uh, challenge, the challenge mode. mode too. Shampoo has made a 7800 game yet. I think he likes the 2600. <laughs> it's a challenge, right? Unfortunately, 7800 is third behind the 5200 and 2600, so he likes the 5200 more. <laughs> So is that confirmation you're going to make some uh, Atari 8-bit games or 5200 games? No! no! Uh, nice. Need more than more 5200 fans. Well, pretty much there's only one guy making 5200 games right now. So it'd be double the developers. How can you? Pick? I thought you're dead. I didn't think you had any lives uh, left. We always trade back and forth. Oh, so we have a, cool. a total number of lives. Yeah. Oh. So there you go. There's Galaga. Very, very now cool. Now supporting, well, always was supporting, mm. the Quadtari. Um, so now you can save your high scores mm. and play two-player mm -hmm. at the same time, which is super awesome. It's very cool. Lots of gameplay for your money. Oh, oh yeah. Ready. Okay, so the next game we're going to be demonstrating is Wizard of War Arcade, which mm. is very special mm. because this has one has voices and two players. They're very taunting, those voices. There you go, Wizard of War Arcade. Nice. Quadtari compatible. Quadtari found, yes. And I have the uh, updated Atari box that works. With get with this excellent very so it's uh, not going to suddenly voice stop yeah. yeah voice pushing uh, game because this was pushing the limits of what Atari Vox could do. Okay, so I'm blue. I'm yellow. Tanya's yellow. And I think we we always no hit a wall in this game, them. and we die. I can't remember what level it is, but it's like level nine. Oh, he went through. Ah! Oh, no. Not enough warning. Uh, again, no video. Oh, got to get on that. Too excited. Too excited. At least this game has a little bit of time. A little bit of a 
lag going on. Thank you for letting me know. If you get your power to lay out a pair of you by them, ha 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 ha. I should just leave it on uh, 2600 because we're just flipping them back and forth really quick. Oh, come on, over here. Ah! Ah! Got him. Your power is ready. The end of your force may Fetrix compatible? Double score dungeon. Where's those shirts, John? <laughs> <laughs> we need those double score dungeon shirts. If you get your power to lay out a Watch the radar. You know. Pew 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 pew. pew. Got him. Nice. Right away. Nice. <gasps> My brother Paul's working on the order as we speak. Woo! Excellent. <laughs> Double scored engine again. Bonus play. As you know, we'll be buying one. I think when I posted my mock-ups, some other people were like, yep, yeah, so Ah, oh, damn it. Terrible. No! Ugh. Lost so many lives. There we go. Oh, Wizard time. Ah! Ah! Didn't mean that! Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, oh. I love how it goes black and white. It's so I impactful. Know, I know. After so much color. <laughs> Gotta keep that double score up. My magic is stranger than your weapon warrior. Ah! They run right through you. I didn't turn around fast enough. <laughs> They're so fast. Oh my god. They're they so are. fast. And now they're invisible. Alright, come on down. Come on down, 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 down. I'm just oh. like, I'll just be here shooting into the dark. Oh, that didn't even work. Got him. I can never understand that guy. <laughs> well, I have my old uh, Atari box for my Vectrex. Because that one works in the Vectrex. Oh, just narrowly missed that. Like no lives left now. Oh no. This is this is definitely the oh no, I'm gonna die. Ah My last one. Your last one. It just gets so fast. Got him. Oh get him! Get him! Escape. Oh, you got him. Stay Stop. by the doors. Very smart. Cool. Fact trucks is our pricey. Yes, WoW does, uh, Wizard of War does show uh, it detects the Quadtari. Yes. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's me. By myself. This is hard. Dungeon 7. Mm. They're so fast, man. Yeah. Yes, now. There we go. Oh, nope. Two more yellows hidden. Oh, what a red one? Where did it come from? Nowhere. They, they spawn. Oh, they are yep, spawning. They spawn. Infinitely? Come on, come on, come on. Get into my shot. Come on. Oh. Nice. Nice. They just happen to be in the right that spot. That was good. That was good. Wrong spot.
Good night, Carl G. Night, Carl G. This is where I'm gonna die for sure. It's too open. So that is Wizard of War now with voice and two players at the same time. Oh, I have to put in my score. Very good score. And it will save. It's yeah, not a bad you've got score. some old save scores there, it looks wow. like. Nice. Very nice. Uh, now we're going to move on to Robot War 2684, which is very special, because we're both going to be playing with dual joysticks. We're going to try. <laughs> and I've taped up right. some special joysticks for this. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Let's unplug them with it off. Clear those to the side, so get confused. Ah! <laughs> Where are my joysticks? Okay, which ones do you want? I'll give you the Atari 2600 ones. I'll switch it back so you guys don't have to stare at blue. And stare at bluish us. Bluish us, yeah. <laughs> Go. Thank you. Uh, we may have to switch them, depending on if you are comfortable with moving and firing on different joysticks. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. It's always worth trying. These extenders are great. Anybody who doesn't have these extenders that come out from their console, oh, definitely yeah. get them because they make it so much easier. To so you play. don't have to go and unplug and plug in the back of the I mean, we're lucky that the distance between us and the screen is fairly short, so... Um, but yeah, yeah I still it's even get... further away. Ooh. Yeah. Actually, I'm guessing mm -hmm. that port one will be movement. So yeah. Let's see. Oh, I see. Do you want movement on the right and shooting movement on the left? Movement on the left. Movement on the left. Yeah, and shooting well, on the right. We'll see once it starts up. So I'm just gonna assume that's what's gonna happen. Ah, crossbow says, James, do you have a Lynx with video out? Need to show some Lynx love on the show sometime. I don't have a Lynx, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think we I probably won't get did. a Lynx. Are they uh, hard a... to come by? No, they're just, I'm not super into handhelds. Um, and you have to mod them quite a bit to get them to output. To output? And then you, it's just fiddly. Yeah. I, I, I like Game & Watches, <laughs> but... Uh, those controllers would get tape. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> Look at this. Until yep. my Ed Ladin twin. Uh, High tech. Okay, load it up. Uh, no, not working. Oh, yes it is. Which one? This one. Yep. So, Robot it's War 2684. Going it's going up. That's weird. Is that Ooh, weird? I hope it's working going up and no, it's only going one way well load it up and then we'll see when the when the game starts mm. maybe broken this guy oh there you go quantari a quantari b just caught it <laughs> okay so two player co-op there's not friendly fire is there uh, yes, I think so. Or maybe not. No, that'd be crazy. I can't remember. Hmm. Okay, so left is movement. I still can't go down. You can't shoot down? I can't shoot down. Let me see. You want to try that? Am I going down now? There's some problems with that. Shooting down. Shooting. Yeah. Oh, one of, yeah. You can't shoot down. I can't shoot down. Uh, you're gonna have to just deal with it, unfortunately. That's fine. I can. Because this is gonna be a nightmare. Yeah, otherwise. I can. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start we're here one. to demonstrate, so that's fine. Yes. Just stay to the bottom. Not, let nothing get underneath. Yes. <laughs> so I am orange. Uh, Tanya is pink. 
and uh, we are playing with dual. Take the low road, exactly. <laughs> That's how this works. Dual joysticks. One is movement, one is shooting, and we're both playing. This is incredible. It is, and I just died. Get me, get me, get me! Oh, oh right, this you rescue. Can, you can rescue me. Oh, oh right. we both died. Totally forgot about the rescue. I haven't yeah. played the co-op. Oh, this is really time. annoying that I can't shoot down. Okay. My son Joey and I got two million on advanced wave seventy-five. Wow! That's I'm not surprised. Unbelievable. Sorry. That's okay. Now I was completely surrounded. Not paying attention to where I was because I was again lose track of which one is you sometimes. You do. This is so much easier with two joysticks. Much better with two joysticks. You should be at the bottom of the screen. Uh, it depends if I've passed. <laughs> rescue you! Oh, rescue me! Rescue me! I, I can't shoot down! I. <laughs> <laughs> it's problematic. Rescue, oh, you can only rescue once? Yeah. Uh. Definitely. Are you dead somewhere? Oh, yeah. You're just dead, dead. Oh, there you are. No. Another game where cop mode is really fun. Yes. 100%. And this dual joystick is so good. So much better. I mean, a real one would be better than taped up weirdness that I've got going on here. <laughs> Where are you? Up there? Yeah, it's fine. Where are you up at the top of the screen? I can can't go down because I can't clear a path downwards. Oh! I keep saying help that! Me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me! So it's like fine if I if there's a path for me to go down, but if there isn't, then oh, I'm just God. trying to. You know, uh, it, you kind of strafe in circles, right? So it's right. hard. But uh, it's it's working. It's just there's something wrong We're with this. We're playing dude. standard, which has one quarter less enemies than the arcade. You need to play advanced for full enemies. Oh. Well, we don't have it plugged in. Oh, true. Uh, so. Yeah, I can't wait for the Atlatan. Can you switch it? There we go. Somebody wants to see us play. Sure. It's uh, not with so good with a half functioning joystick, joystick no. for my shooting, but. It's a good purpose for these <laughs> joysticks. <laughs> it actually works fairly well. The yeah. tape is working. Um, Oh yeah, I taped them right up. Waiting for Atari to ship this game. Soon. Soon. You will have all your games. Oh, help, 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 help. Help! Oh, it wasn't time to help yet. No? no. I can't shoot down. <laughs> no. I know. I'm like, I can't clear the path. <laughs> I ran away thinking you were alive. <laughs> I was almost, I was still blinking. Oh, really? I wasn't, I wasn't ready for rescue yet. Help me! Oh, oh. oh so many things on the screen. Oh, zombies! Oh, the zombies got me! 
Help me. Where are you? Top left, top right, sorry. Oh! Just in time. I'm dead, that's okay. Get the girls. Rescue the humans. Oh yeah, the sounds are so good in this. Come on down, and your path. Thank you. You're welcome. That helps. I lose track of who I'm playing a lot of the Dual time. joysticks is a must in this game, 100%. Yeah. Like, this is the first time I've really properly played it. It feels with so good, dual joysticks. It? Oh. Yeah. Um, and it's just, it's the only way to play it. So many green guys! Uh, a lot on this level. Ah, uh, help, help, help! Help, 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 help! I'll come help you. Oh! I didn't- I thought it was you! <laughs> <laughs> didn't even realize I was dead. I'm avoiding I know. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. Is a real yes. treat? Is there? Oh, 100%. Yeah, it was so much fun. People are going to have a ton of fun when this comes out. Uh, levels are getting silly hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll help you. Very, very, yeah. There you go. Oh! Help, 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 help. Okay, what's left? Oh, the robot there. Got him. He almost got that guy. Almost! So Join, I got 1.5 wheels of one joystick and auto fire. Uh huh. <laughs> We're at 98,000 here. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. We're this both dead. This is really full, this wave. We Whew. have done much better, though, because we have. I remember one episode we were playing it this quite a bit. This no, is even on advanced, we were really? getting to really high levels, yeah. I and mean, these aren't ideal. No. I mean, I can see. <laughs> like, proper arcade joysticks would be ideal. Mm hmm. Um, so that is um, uh, an exclusive update from John Champo. Mm -hmm. This one, the Quadtari. Um, I don't know if it uh, was compatible with Quadtari before, but it is. Oh, it's so you good. You guys did well? Yeah, it's fine. I, I know we've done better before. Johnny says skip to level 30. Okay. <laughs> Let's do that then. Can you move it to 30? Oh, it does support the Genesis. What? What am I doing? I'm sure it's insane. Try 30. So much more to see on the screen. So instant death? Okay, instant death, here we come. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a lot of things on the screen. See the 2684s? Oh my god, what is <laughs> There are a lot of people to rescue, though, in this level. Now there's a lot of zombies. I'll help you. Thank you. Ah! Zombies! No, no, no. Missiles. Oh, I actually passed it. <laughs> Surprisingly not much flicker. Yeah, his flicker handling is unbelievable. Which it needs to be in this game. I mean, a lot of it is play field. But still, oh my god, there's a lot of things happening. <laughs> Where am I? Dead, I'm sure. <laughs> Dead, I'm sure. Uh, oh, there I am, flashing on the top. <laughs> I was like, where did I, where did I go? Ah, uh, help me. Help me, help me, help me, help me. <sighs> the game they said they could not be done on the 2600. Only one man could pull this off. It's a lot of stuff on the screen. The thing is, it keeps spawning more things. Ah! Duh. Both died. Crazy. We just eclipsed our old score. Yeah. <laughs> just by being on oh, a, my such a high level. Okay, you're rescued. Nope. Nope. Well. Game over. <laughs> That is certainly something. On that those is high pretty levels. pretty impressive. <laughs> oh yeah. You are a robot war hero. Mm. 
So let's go. Now, what's what's next? Zookeeper. <laughs> um, and this is two uh, player zookeeper. It's two player alternating. Okay. Plus the save key, so it does work with mm. uh, the Quadtari. Cool. Just not in like you know uh, a way that you would think. It's just you don't have to pass the joysticks back and forth, mm. right? So these single purpose contraptions are done. <laughs> Because the Ed Laden should be here soon, depending if the border guards play with it <laughs> or not. They might. They may go, oh my goodness, this is such a cool light. <laughs> We're going to play with it for a bit. Yeah, that sounds about right for um, the technology <laughs> the Canadian border guards have. So. Huh? <laughs> now, one of these. Find out. Oh, yeah. Should put it aside. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't change the graphic. Oh, my God. It's too many games today. Zookeeper. Mm -hmm. Saints Hollow's mm -hmm. Place. Yes, mm -hmm. please. Mm -hmm. Two player simultaneous Saints yeah. Hollow. I, is that even a thing? Save Quatari. And safe key. Nice. No, it isn't, but if 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 John Shampoo does it, I'm sure it would be. Mm. <laughs> right? Both build the bridge. How do you adjust the players? I think you have to do this. There you go. Uh, we probably don't uh, want to play it dance. Standard? Probably standard. Or novice? Uh, novice, we can go further. Sure. Show it off a bit more, yep. I guess. A proper time pilot, yes. Saints Hall of First. <laughs> that would be, that's like my number one um, want, I think, request. Saints Hollow? Saints Hollow. Oh, I love Saints Hollow. What's oh, me? You, you till I you die, see... I guess. Oh. Um, and then Timber. Which is Timber super was super fun, yeah. yeah. Not a lot of people know about Timber. It's a great two-player game. Just wish the second button could do shields instead of pressing down. I mean, that would be... yeah. Time Pilot Arcade. Oh, I always, I've always had trouble with this, the platforms. It, it's a very specific kind of... Very different kind of jumping. Oh. Your turn. Now it's my turn. No, oh, this is a good joystick. Yep. I mean, there's three of them, so. The chances were good. Tempest. Uh, I don't think Tempest is ever going to happen for the 2600. Mm -hmm. It just... It just can't, like, you can't make a decent playfield screen. They're all so chunky. Oh, oh, so you just have oh. to ask that. I don't like playing it with this joystick. No, it just, it just, Tempest doesn't work. I've seen lots of people attempt to make playfields. They're all from ter, they range from terrible to, uh, okay, I guess. Are you guys playing novice? Yeah, <laughs> John. Uh, yeah, we thought we'd go further and show more of it, but uh, we're not going for high scores. Not doing well. No, <laughs> it's sad. Doing terrible. Very ah, sad right I can't now. round the corners very well with this joystick. Need proper joystick. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him all! Get him all! More, more. Oh, there. There you go. Some bonus. bonus. Guess what? My son Joey and I got yeah, 10 Yeah, 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 John, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you and your son Joey. <laughs> have a lot of time to play games. Uh, yay! See, yay. he just... Just kidding. <laughs> ...goes through it. Yeah. Ten, 10 million... Would be pretty high. ...is, is achievable. Is it? Yeah, because you can get a million points in the jump. It's not, it's not easy. It's true. That's for sure. If you really know how to play, you can 
Yeah. Really just go, go nuts. Scores. Yeah. Crazy outrageous. Score. Get out of here, camels. Around the corner. I bought all the new 2600 homebrews from Oh, it, it, Wow. Yeah. That is a lot of homebrews. A, there is a lot of good ones. Uh, we ordered some, didn't we? Yep, they are coming. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to them as well. Yeah, my high score is 2 million gets crazy difficult. Yeah. yeah. 2 million. Step up your game, John. <laughs> Way more than I can do. <laughs> I think I only got like 50,000 on one jump or something. I can't remember. I did one really good jump once. One I do time. remember once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, the. You just have to be slow. Well, you have to be deliberate. very deliberate and it moves in a very specific yes. way. You have to wait for that monkey to throw it the other way. Yes. And then yeah. you're like, now I can go. <laughs> Nathan Strum's a jump master. This I couldn't even do when I got to it. Oh. I couldn't even get over it. I it was like, be at this oh. specific spot. I know it's a crazy. Oh my god! <laughs> Mooses. Meese. The Mises are here. The Mises, the Mises are, are here. Are loose. Oh, I'll go out that way. Yes. That way. That way. That way. That way. Yes. Yes. Yes! Another 6,000. Ooh! 15, Ooh good stuff! <sighs> Ooh! 60,000, but I sacrificed a life. <laughs> 60,000, pretty good. Oh, come on! Stop being so. Yeah, the art, uh, the box art, the packaging is so good this year. There's so many good uh, entries for packaging. <gasps> oh, you almost had it! Oh, I knew I was gonna hit that. Almost mm, had it. Coconuts. I'm gonna get back to this level. I don't like the platform. <laughs> yeah, Wanna nuts. jump over the meese? <laughs> <laughs> so, the secret is if you trap them all, <laughs> which I'm not doing a very good job, mm. you, you wanna make, surround the whole thing. And then have a hole, have and a they hole. all go out the hole. But you have to be facing a the, hole. the hole, and they go the opposite direction yeah. that you're facing. They'll always or run they away. they go the, the way you're facing. They'll always run away from you. Yeah. From So if you're facing the hole, they'll, they'll run away from you. So if you trap them and have them escape, they yeah. can all get going in the same direction. Because the game doesn't want to be cheap and make them head directly for... Oh yeah. my god. Mm. <sighs> Watching a um, speed run, not a speed run, mm. a speed run, yeah, of Mappy. It was crazy. How good this guy was. Oh yeah, it was uh, the what's his name? The guy with the cowboy hat. The cowboy hat guy. <laughs> it's just funny to watch. He is. He and he. He's um. I can't think of his name. I don't know his name. Yeah. Okay. But see? he's entertaining. Yeah. So I get them all out the same way. Oh James has been uh, working on his zookeeper strategy. I'm not good at it, but I know. Yeah, well, oh my god! Oh! Yeah, the sounds in this are astounding. They're so crazy. Oh, you die! <laughs> You're trapped by two coconuts. Oh, game over. Oh, you made it, PL1. <laughs> now some, we can actually. Some days I, I get through those platform levels quite easily, and other other days it's. Now we can actually enter the scores. Yeah. While having two players, which yeah. is so awesome. Because before we had to just not retain the scores. Okay, here we go. Got some. We got some. Some stuff in our direction. Pretty many though. Ah. Well past this. I'm just gonna be more conservative. Stop getting, trying to get high scores. Okay, which way am I gonna get them going? Get them going out this way. See, so I've got the hole. They're all going out that way. Now they're in one direction. 
They're not together, unfortunately. No, that really... makes it a little bit harder, a little bit. So you can kind of wait till they group up. What? Oh, what are you doing, camel? Ah. Uh. saved it. What time is it? It is time to play the new game. Ladybug Arcade. But first, we're going to play the original Ladybug to compare it to. Okay. That John Shampoo made. This is a 2600 Ladybug? Yes. yes. Okay. He made this oh, 15 years ago. What was it? Ready. This is the special edition one. Um, not going to open it because I don't want to open it. It says the Coleco cartridge and the Coleco looking cover. So you could op um, run the ladybugs. First one. Oh. And second. Let's see. Cartridge graphics. Which one is it? 2008? Even zookeeper graphics. Oh my god, I'm like two behind. <laughs> um, yes. 2008. Let's see how those lazy programmers did it back in 2008. The ROM's okay and the RAM's okay. That's good. Oh, okay. Oh, that's funny. Here you go. Because it's stuck on this joystick, right? Because it hasn't sent the signal to switch it. Oh. So it's reading just that joystick. Mm. So you can leave the Quadtari plugged in then. It's a remake of a demake. Yes, it is. Um, so he has updated a lot of stuff. Okay. Um, so you could just play this one. So in this one, um, he didn't. He wasn't using the, the arm. So if you can, if you notice, everything is the playfield's mirrored. So if you change one of the doors on the right. It changes the door on the left so that he would have more time to do the extra things he needs to do. So you want to spell special with the red and with the yellow you want to spell extra. I've got a whole bunch of information. Um, I may just read this out when we go to the new ladybug. As I mentioned above, the Quadtari could be used as a joystick extender using port 1 and 2. That is super cool. So, I guess when the Quadtari boots, it defaults to port 1 and 2 and stays in those. That's, that's really, really cool. So you never have to really remove it. 16K of ROM, 128 bytes of RAM. before I go to that. Um, Daryl Spice Jr. plans to add Quadtari support to Spice C, which is his new programming language that he is developing right now. Um, he's plans to add two player plus uh, also plans to add two player plus Atari Vox support to Frantic as well. Have you played this game? Um, yes, but show yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I have. Tomorrow I'm gonna play some Berserk Adventure. Oh yeah, that's fun. I'm a I'm a horrible person. I can never get into this game. Crossbow says it's it's a it's a maze pellet eating game, which there are a lot of them. But this one is I find it similar to it's a mouse trap as well because of the doors. Also similar to what's that other one where there's cops and robbers? I'm trying to think of that one. Um, where it, you can also put like barriers in the way. Somebody will type it. Can't remember what it is. I do like that game. 
I thought this one was fun because it, it adds a lot to it. It's got the skulls It gives you for some some strategy too for for avoiding and dodging. Yeah. You can you can section off areas, right? Oh, that one's a dangerous one. Yum 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 yum. Yum 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 yum. yum. Tanya got robbed on that red to yellow L. Oh, did you almost get a special? I well no, not not quite, but I thought get it was the red. Get the egg. Oh, too late. Because okay. blue is like the you Useless. just get points for it. Useless. Oh, there. So special red, extra. It's the green turkeys. It's the green chickens. Very cool chickens. Headless <laughs> chickens. It's terrible. On the carrot level, the red doesn't stay for very long. No. No. There are a lot of updates. I should, uh, no, I'll, I'll talk about them when we turn it on so you can actually see them. Oh, I thought I was flipping them. Is the creator of the plus card here? Uh, he was. He's not here anymore. Or he hasn't talked in a while. Oh, I didn't read the names at the top of the show. Oh my god. Just threw it all out the window after mm -hmm. not doing it for two weeks. What? Read the names? Yeah, in the mm -hmm. chat. Oh, in the chat! No, yeah. it's true. Yeah, that's true. Oh. You don't do it for a week. Pick up the hearts when they're blue for the score multiplier. <clears throat> so hearts blue, extra yellow, special red. Luckily it's on blue for a long time. So you want to get... The hearts are a lot easier. Good job. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a weirdly stressful game, though. <laughs> well, there's a lot of... Like, did 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 noise See, that's... Even though... That noise doesn't, like, really correspond to things. There. There you go. It corresponds to the, oh. I think, the changing of the colors that, that dot, that, um... Wait, John, I bet you have Mr. Do on the to-do pile, don't you, Crossbow says. I put a lot of time to this one about ten years ago, Catherine and 2D. Someone brought that up in the LBA thread. Not sure if we'll take that one on. Mr. Dude. Yeah, Mr. Dude would be a fun one. Oh, it's coming. Oh, oh, I always do you... that. I hit it twice. It's like, no, you did just block, block yourself in. You did block him. Mm. So we'll wait till you're finished the game. You're almost there. Oh, life. no, no, we can switch to the new version. No, we'll, I don't we'll want to. I don't want to spend too much time on this. So we'll let you finish the game. Because they, they do need to see, like, be familiarized with this before we switch over so they can really take in the changes. Oh, yeah, get that center before they come out. Good job. Time pilot. <laughs> when will this be out? Oh, that's a very good question. Um, uh, John, do you have a demo of the new... Well, not this one. This one is the, the old one. This one's been out for a very long time. Um, do you have a demo uh, that you're ready to put out for Ladybug Arcade, or do you have some more stuff you want to do first? Game over. Okay, on right. the parsley. So, no, stay on it. Oh. We're going to switch over. <clears throat> to the new one. Now we're ready to ready. premiere it. Put it up. Mm -mm. No? Nope. It's the other one. Oh. You play with that one. Ladybug Arcade. Woo. Today's build. Woo. Sent this to me just before the show. That's exciting. So that's one of the new things. You put the Atari Age logo in. The new uh, Don't Press Anything. New title screen there. Nice. Ladybug Arcade. He's in got the, the purple, little yeah. dudes going back and forth. He's got yeah. instructions. Look at Very that. Very nice. Seating the extra. It's filling it in oh, at the top. Nice, 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 nice. Look at how many things he has on one line. And it looks awesome. And then you eat the hearts. For multipliers, times two, times three. See, it's mm. adding it out at the top. Don't hit the skull. Oh, you're done. 
turns into little, little wings and a halo. That's so cute. Oh, he's got all the high scores. <laughs> champ, games, champ, games. More he's than got, three letters, Oh, too. my God. Very wow. Nice. Very long names on this one. Yep. Okay. Wait. Credits, coding and design, John Champo. Nice. Art and graphics, Nathan Strum. Bob and sounds, Bob DeCrescenzo. Nice. Mm. Okay. Uh, improvements over the original 2006 version. Atari Age splash screen, enhanced title screen, two-player alternating, two-player versus mode nice. in progress. You can play two in players. In progress, yeah. Animated scoring screen, uh, credit screen, which we saw, high score screen, we saw. Uh, support for the Atari box to save scores coming soon. A th arcade authentic maze, eleven by eleven. Uh, the 2006 version was eleven by nine. So he's added two more rows to it. Oh, or two nice. More columns. nice. Nice, nice, nice. And the number of dots. Enhanced graphics. Nathan redid most of the graphics. Enhanced maze graphics uses interlaced blending to achieve three colors per line with barely any flicker. Also supports a flickerless option, right difficulty without blending. Um, so you can jump into it now. So look, it's Ooh, much Very different, more. yeah. Oh, you can pick the maze. Arcade, maze two, maze three, maze four, rotate, random. Let's go with the arcade. arcade. Is this Part two, one. two person? Uh, we'll just do one player right now. Nice. Wow. So it's much more dense. It does look a lot more dense, doesn't it? Um, asymmetrical doors. So flip a door when you can. Just flips that door. And you've got the special extra times two times three times five all along the top. Ugh. Oh, that was so close. Additional mazes. Current version has the arcade maze plus three new ones. Final version will have five mazes. You can turn off the demo sound using color black and white. Well, that's fine. Um, we'll leave this sound on. Actually, this is probably pretty loud for everyone. We don't need it this loud for us. <laughs> uh, maximum of six skulls per level. The original was two skulls, so there can be tons of skulls on the screen. Of course, there's more room for them now. Nice, you got all the multipliers. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's not much left on the screen. You're not multiplying anything. Uh, too much. Uh, Multicolored veggies on all screens and in game. We'll have to look for the veggies now. Flip, 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 flip. Nice. <laughs> Eggplant. See, it has a little bit of green at the I top. Still, I haven't seen many of. Oh, so now there's three skulls in this level. The new ladybug looks good. Oh, yeah. Video wafers. This looks amazing. Great Offender says, yes. Uh, animated doors when flipped. Oh. Are they animated? Oh, yeah. They don't just flip. They go uh, diagonal. Nice. All those tiny little touches are so good. Um, Multicolored veggies on all screens and in game. I haven't seen a veggie yet. Um, added a veggie bonus when a veggie is eaten. Yay, the door animation! Woo! <laughs> At this moment, bulls are piling into Atari stock and bears are pouncing on ColecoVision stock. That's funny. <laughs> there's an Intellivision, there's no Coleco. There is Atari and there is Intellivision right now. Which is Stop. very funny. Yeah. I mean, there are companies that exist. True. That are making products. Making oh. products, making consoles right now. Which is something I never thought I would see in 2021. I mean, the Intellivision one hasn't come out yet, but the um, it's 
coming soon. The Atari one is out. But it's pretty much just like a tiny computer. Tiny overpriced computer. The Intellivision one looks interesting, but I'll have to wait till it actually comes out. There's some games that are like, oh yeah, I could play that game. Waiting for it. No! Oh, yeah, terrible oh. timing. Oh no, it's kind of. Oh, I have to. It's yeah. Coming after me. Um, enhanced extra ladybug animation screen, oh. which we, I don't know if we'll ever see that. Neither of us are like experts at this. No. Enhanced special bounty harvest screen. Special is even harder to get. I'm not sure about the Amico anymore. I have the pre-order. Oh, you do have the pre-order. Very cool. Mm. I am waiting on what the information is for the physical games. If the whole game is stored on the physical cartridge or whatever mm. it is, I will be buying the Amico. And and if there's enough games on yes. cartridge. Yeah. If the game is not on the cartridge, the full game, I'm not buying it. If it's just like a little tag that downloads something off the internet, or it's an authorization tag, it's like you're allowed to play this game, then what's what's the point? It's just just like entering in a code. What are you doing? Playing with that. That's the fun part. <laughs> I thought the Amico was mainly it is mainly digital, but it does have um, he has announced that it does have actual cartridges. Um, but he's been, unless something's changed in the past week, I haven't been thoroughly up to date with it. But he was starting to talk about ooh, the the physical cartridges. I'm um, hoping the couch co-op games are actually fun to play. The uh, there are a couple of co-op games that look really fun. Uh, enhanced sound driver that mixes sound effects and music tracks, most prominent when you eat a veggie and during the special stage. Oh, there's a veggie at the bottom. Where? Oh, no, it was just saying how much it was worth. But it wasn't actually on the screen. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh no, no! Run! Oh, it's dangerous. Oh, it's dangerous. Get it now! Get it now! Not oh. now! Get it now! Stop no. it! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> No carts, but probably physical media. I've got that Atari, the new Atari. They are going hardcore in game develop. They, time will tell how successful it will be. Please do that, please. Eat a yellow heart so we can see the extra screen. Oh, yeah, you just need a T. Yeah. I need a T. Just need a T. T for Tanya. That's right. Okay, so get near that T. And get it. Get it. Get that T. Get it yet. Okay, it's coming around. Ready? Get it! Yay! Oh, look, it went down in the bottom. That's so cute. <laughs> That's so cute. Now you have to get this special one. You're pretty far from special. I am. Oh, oh no. so neat. Only in the game, not in real life. You're very special. Uh, um, enhanced status screen shows special, extra, and multiplayer across the top, which is super awesome. Like, look at all that across the top. Enhanced score display sh a display shows score and up to six reserves. Oh my god, they're fast. You get so close to them. Well, you just do. <laughs> it's just what happens in Ladybug. That was cold, James. Good save. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> the Phoenix was the first of the big three out the door. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I guess you could say that was a ColecoVision. It's not the original company, but they are pretty much ColecoVision. Collector Vision is, is ColecoVision now. They make games, they make hardware. So uh, I'll give you that. That's true. Um, enhanced level display shows current part, uh, veggie, and points for eating the veggie. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oof, good save. Oh! <laughs> eaten by two wasps! Those are great animated wasps. Beautiful. So good. Great job, Nathan. Uh, arcade style uh, high score name up to six characters. New challenge mode. 
Ooh, first insect enters the maze immediately. Oh, what are those teeth? Bouncy teeth? <laughs> I don't know. They're funny. Like Last they? insect that enters the maze is the spider. Moves slower than the other insects. Cannot reverse direction unless it hits a corner. Mm. It can open doors. Oh, I'll have to play the challenge mode. The spider. Doors where doors where periodically flip direction. Oh my god. We plan on adding more features. Could be a good question to ask the community. Oh. Went right into it. No, I wasn't. Oh, you're gonna left. flip? I was trying to uh, go left. Oh, game over. That's Just good. as I. You wanna you wanna run? Yes. Yes, you should have a run. Just as I finished. Oh. Oh, definitely put huh? in your name because yeah. the Atari box is plugged in. Hard. Oh, I love this. Uh, oh. oh, this is a great. Do you have a time limit? <laughs> is it timing out? Looks like it. Did I hit the heart? Uh. They do give you a time. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's cute. <gasps> Your turn. Yeah. <sighs> Dason says, thanks. It was fun revisiting and improving the graphics. Mm. Yeah. Um, so let's so take a look the, at the challenge the mode. Challenge. Next. So the challenge mode, the bugs come out, then a spider comes out. Mm. Doors flip randomly, and the spider can flip the doors. Mm. So So this isn't two player. Not no, not right now. Are any of them two player? Uh we'll take a look at Or they just alternate. It's I think it's alternate. You can trigger the special by he eating a red heart on level one while holding down the button. Mm. Okay, I will do that. Yeah, try that. Red heart, level one, holding down the button. We'll do that right now because I'll forget. Do it on novice. Red mm. heart, level one. Mm, you alternate turns. Yeah. When two player mode. So he hasn't implemented. Um... Okay. Waiting for the red. Okay, special time. You win the special bounty. Eat the veggies before the timer ends. Nice. Before timer end. Oh. Gotta get them all. Oh, one just popped up. A new one. Why are they appearing? How am I supposed to eat them all if they keep appearing? Oh my god. Yes, you have to eat them faster than they appear. Oh, why is he... Oh. Oh my god, that's a heart. Oh, you skip to the next level. Yeah, I mean that's a that's a special thing. I think. Mm. Okay, let's see the challenge mode. I did add the versus mode. Yes. Okay. Excellent. We will be playing versus after the challenge. Rotate. Yes. It's another another bye. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. So we need blue hearts, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, you can't Yep. Wait till it's red, which is like this very, like, second there. Yeah. It's only for like a, a tiny second. Bit. Yeah. You have to wait on it. So you want to get the blue hearts as soon as possible because everything is Well, they're is easy multiplied. because the, the blue is, it sits at blue for so long. There you go. But so you want to get them easy. at the beginning of your yeah, turn. Yeah, you do. Yeah. He found a skull, did he? <laughs> they just kind of randomly run into skulls. Not ah! The, not the smartest bugs. Mm. No. Uh, novice gives you more time for red. Well, that's good to know. This is standard, uh, I think, right? Or the, the challenge show? Challenge is just challenge. Oh, they randomly flip. Yep. Oh, neat. Oh, that is cool. We have to, have to try and survive until the spider mm -hmm. comes out. After all the bugs come out. This is a huge jump up from uh, the original. There's so much more. The graphics and the bigger play field. Oh, there's the It's spider. always... God damn it. There we go. Oh, get out of... Oh! Got stuck in the middle. This version seems way better than the original. Not an insult. <laughs> well... It it just it just is like it, it's not really insulting. The original's really good. 
And you have to think the original is done without any acceleration mm. hardware. Like there's no arm chip in it. Oh, we didn't get to see the spider. Oops. Oh, I, that was right. There we go. Come on. to be red. There. Perfect. Good, good timing. Yep. We're all gone on this level. Nope, you stay there. Lobster thing with big eyes or whatever you are. Alien oh, creature. The buggies. They're buggies. Buggies look like aliens anyway. So. I do. Uh, Pretty crazy. Uh, I guess the, the, the vegetables come out when all of the bugs have finished escaping. Yeah, they end up in that center. I didn't realize that. I mean, so you have to deal with all the bugs yeah. in order to get the veggie, which I presume if you're going for high scores, maybe it's a requirement to get... Yeah. There's your veggie there, but... Um, now there's a spider. Oh, no! <laughs> Cornered! Ooh. With all champ games, a very fluid motion. Mm -hmm. Almost all this could be done without the arm, except the maze blending since I had to update this entire screen every frame mm. uh, so i love this oh hit it your what button? is happening oh i have to erase your name oh <laughs> then i have to go down the right aisle <laughs> yep but if you exit the right direction yeah it's a little bit easier I love this way of entering the name. Mm -hmm. Clear. <laughs> Clear. Oh, CLR. Oh, well, rub was fine. I got to show the rub. Okay, so now we're going to play two player. Ooh. There we go. Oh, versus, versus. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's alternating, which won't be much. How can you have one player versus? What? Weird. Versus the computer, maybe? So we'll switch it off challenge and be beginner. No. Oh, you want beginner? Yes. It's left and right. There we go. Novice. Okay. Uh, random. Or whichever. Rotate? Random. Sure. One player versus means that one player is always the ladybug. The other is the in insects? The other person? Where am I? What does versus mean? <laughs> it's not simultaneous. Two player versus a two player alternating game. The games, the players take turns being the ladybug. Oh, so it's. Am I the bug now? Are you? No. I don't understand. Ugh. Why is the bug flashing? <laughs> Someone didn't read the manual. No, I didn't. I didn't. Where's the manual? It's very long. I was getting ready. I mean, you have to give it to me. You, I only had an hour to read this and I had to get ready at the same time. Okay, versus mode. In versus mode, one player controls a ladybug. The other player controls uh, the insects. In one player versus mode, we'll just have one player as the ladybug and player two as the insects. In two player versus mode, both players alternate controlling the ladybug and the insects in their own mazes, completing, competing for a high score. So I should be able to... Control one of the insects. I'm pressing up. Like the flashing insect, I'm guessing, is the one you control, but he's not... He's not behaving. Oh, do I have to be in port two? Maybe. Oh, do I have to be in port two and because it doesn't support the Quadtari yet? Is that correct? You need to hold it in the direction. Okay. 
thought it was. Let's try it. I'm gonna hold right. Like, we're playing with the Quad Tari, is that correct? Yes, port 2. Yes, that's why. So we're not gonna be able to uh, save any high scores right now. That is okay. Because that's not what we're demonstrating. That's why it's not working. Okay, buggy. There we go. Kind of. Or maybe because I, uh... Oh no, it's working. Is oh it? yeah, I can't go through the doors. I was trying no. to push the doors. Now you're going to die. Am I? No. I'm still a buggy. Because the buggies are pretty... They pretty hone in on you right away anyway. Come and get me. Come oh get me. no! Yes, he cleared it for me. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you blocked me off completely. That's how this works. Oh! Now it changed bugs on me. Ah! <laughs> Are you just like taunting me right now? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> yeah, this works well. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! What I could do is just hang around these, uh, these dots. Yeah, forever. screw you! Yeah, I think I'll just hang around these dots for a little bit. <laughs> Ah, uh, like, John, we might have found a flaw in your versus mode. <laughs> I like these dots a lot. <laughs> these are the best dots ever. Yeah, that's that's not going to work so well. Because <laughs> I could just hang around the dots forever. Mmm, <laughs> these dots are tasty. Nom, 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 Come get this eggplant. Oh, meow, 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 meow. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move out of the way. I'm going to move out of the way. So otherwise, it just goes on forever. Yeah. That's funny. I won't mention that I have a Galagon uh. shirt. I have a Galagon shirt. Yes, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I did the entire versus mode in 45 minutes. It's cool, but I don't know how you'd prevent that. How would yeah. you prevent that? You have, like, you can't... Well, it switches up. Maybe if it randomly switched up the... Um, the bugs. The bug you were controlling. It does. So that you can, you can control it, but then... Only it, for a bit. No, it'll switch you up when it when a new one is released, but after... But say all of them have been released... Then it just switches randomly in the maze, because then that one will be somewhere else. Right? Right now, I'm not controlling any. Yeah. Because I died or something. What happened? I was gonna have it switch players when the timer expired. There. When now all you four bugs Now you have one to, to control. Yeah, coming for you. Coming for you. Box them in. Help me. Yeah. Oh, useless. Ah, coming ah! for you. Coming for. Oh, oh, it switched. <laughs> See, See that? that's that's what that's how that's you, what you, need you, to do. you get around the. Just every X seconds, like ten seconds. It just switches to a random bug. Yeah. And that other bug's probably not going to be dear at the center. <laughs> ah, my, my brethren got you. <laughs> my brethren. <laughs> <laughs> Player change. Ah, good. Oh. Time for me to because play. Because I died? Yeah, it's the first time you died. Is it? Yeah. No. Yeah, you're evading really well. Hmm. It's your turn. All right. You can drink some beer then. Uh, come on. Come on. Change it blue. 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 <coughs> <Anyway. coughs> Maybe I shouldn't drink beer and play video games <laughs> at the same time. <coughs> it's been done for generations. I'm sure you'll be fine. Oh, I'll get that arm. No. Oh, just in time. I almost accidentally got it the wrong time. No, you get out of here. I'm trying to do things. Ah. <laughs> I got ya! <laughs> ah, that's a good Also game. change the bug mechanics so they can't change directions. Maybe they always move forward until you hit a blocked corridor. Mm. So they only make choices. Yes. Yeah, that would make sense. That would be a, yeah. a, make it a lot easier to... Uh, I shouldn't drink wine and watch you guys play video games. Yes, you should. Yes, you should. Your <laughs> it's your turn. Oh, is it? You better get that thing. I'm going to block it when I come out. <laughs> 
Thank you for telling me. <laughs> I'm out of water. Of course, if you plan ahead, you get the docks, dots around the pen. Uh, that That is a thing, but... I can guard any dot. Yeah. I can guard, I can guard, I can guard this L if I want to. I'm not getting the L. <laughs> so it's not really about the... Um, about the pen. I mean, if you want to guard it against um, them getting the vegetable, yes. Oh, I just think I can flip doors. I know. <laughs> can you control the spider? Oh, that'd be awesome. That'd be too powerful. Coming. 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 Oh. <laughs> ah! Move! Move, you silly thing. Oh, it switched. I think it just, yeah, it just needs to switch faster. Mm. I won't kill you. You can. <laughs> that is your goal, so. Oh, you can control the spider in challenge mode. Oh, oh it wow. might flip to you. Yeah. Oh, that would be fun. Maybe we'll get some around there. Get it. Get it. I'm coming now. Walked off everywhere. Oh, uh, oh my god. Well, I've got rid of skulls. For you. Oh, thanks for that. Yeah, that would that would make sense. Like you can only ch choose the next direction for the bug. Not turn around. Because right now I have almost full control. The bug kind of moves on its own if you don't directly specify the next direction for it to go. It just, like, takes over immediately. Because that, right now, that's what they do on their own as bugs. Well, they do turn around on their own, but you could restrict the player controlled one, so that it's not so easy to do. Whoa! Come on. Ah! <laughs> Sometimes it's like you don't quite hit the turn the right way. Different maze colors is a nice touch. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very oh, really player nice. Player change. Try not to die right away. Uh huh. What <laughs> mm. that L? Oh. It does in novice at least last a little. Red. Yeah. There we go. What is that? Okay. Uh, basically, not able to move backwards unless you hit a block path. Yeah. Uh, Johnny WC23 crossbow. I just made the change. It was one line of code. Oh, really? Wow. wow. Nice. Magic of C. You're playing. Yeah. yeah. You should read out these uh, information that he sent me. Mm -hmm. Nicely typed up. Mm -hmm. Read out all of the uh, information. All of it? Just from where? Uh, oh, that's the third page. It's the second page. From the top of the second. All right, here's a ladybug arcade latest ROM. I would estimate it's about 90% done. Note safe, he is not detected or used, so please unplug it and use two joysticks to test the two player options. Did not read the instructions. No. Did not have time. I was going to do it live, but it's that fun. didn't work. Quadtari is not supported yet, but will be added soon when I add safe key support. Maze graphic options. Ladybug supports a blending interlace display for the maze that allows three colors plus black to be displayed on one line with virtually no flicker. Similar That's technique sure. to that used in Xevious. However, you can disable the blending to eliminate all flicker and also reduce the luminance of the maze colors using the difficulty switches B for brighter, A for darker. There you go. Left difficulty. Oh. Right difficulty, B oh, for does. blended interlacing, A for non-blended. Oh, no flicker at all. Wow. Some people who hate flicker. Yep. 
this is really really cool it's it's like it's like early cga graphics <laughs> with the purple and the green yeah um options from title screen move the joystick left right to select the skill level novice ah. novice is the easiest five lives to start timer and bugs move slower to start the bonus timer that cycles the colors from red to yellow to blue is four seconds for each color making it easier to get red and yellow bonus items other skill levels have shorter red timer, medium yellow timer, and long blue timer. Standard, four lives to start, a bit easier than the arcade. Advanced, three lives to start, plays like the arcade. Arcade, timer and enemies move faster to start. Uh, Great Defender says, I'll take the flicker over this. Lol, my code says, disable reverse if player in control. But I used an and instead of an or, so it was a bug. Uh... Where were you? Advanced. Uh, advanced. Three lives to start. Plays like the arcade. Timers and enemies move faster to start. Challenge. Three lives to start. Add in random flipping doors. Insect enters the maze immediately. The spider comes out as the fourth enemy. Can open doors. Can't reverse. Move slower than other insects. Press select to change the play mode. Oh, good job. Oh, you're just a C off of special, too. Mm-hmm. Extra ladybug. Uh, one player standard game, two player standard games. Players take turn. Player two, ladybug is orange. One player versus. Player one controls the ladybug. Player two controls the insects. Two player versus. Alternating two player game where players take controls. Uh, take turns controlling the ladybug or insect. Object is to get high score. Press up and down to cycle through the remaining screens. No C on this level. Mm. No, I don't. I know. I uh, instructions displays animated instructions on how to play plus scoring. Top scores displays the top five scores. Press left to right in the screen to cycle through the skill levels. So it's got five scores on each skill level and four skill levels. So there's 20 high scores. Credits displays the credits for the game. Press the reset or the button on any screen to start a new game. <laughs> yeah, the door animation is a huge improvement. Flipping door animation, yeah. It's your turn. John made a binary to let me change the maze colors and test the combination in real time on hardware. Oh, I love that. That was somebody um, who's working on Congo Bongo. They did that too. Um, they made a binary where you could press up, down, left, right, and you could change the color of the play field. And he was asking people their input on which combination looked best. Mm. And I was just like, the one the default looks good <laughs> the one you left is the first one that you turn it on with yeah. look the best yeah Ooh, funky colors mm -hmm. that's uh that's quite striking oh just it. Red and yes yeah. yes red and blue kind of work Oh, he died on the skull, I guess. Yeah. So, who wants me to change it back to Flicker? Or do you want me to keep it on this for a while? I like Flicker better, to be honest. I don't like the line. It's quite... It's quite, I don't know, 3D looking and... Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm almost touching it. Three things in a line. Ah! Ah! Turkey's trying to get you. Yes. Oh my god. Made a mistake there. Go to blue. Go to blue. Go to blue. Oh, in a second. Hurry up. There we go. There's too many. Too many around there. I like so that. You need the X Cover around where you need stuff. yellow. Oh, it's yellow now. Oh. oh, I put an Easter egg in if you want to try your hand at changing maze colors. Oh, Flip no. color black white on the splash screen. Okay. Yeah. As Ramirez, it looks kind of vectorish, the, the board. Candy caneish, yeah. Oh, it's your turn. Mm -hmm. Yes, we will uh, we'll try that next. Flip the color black and white splash on the, on the splash screen. Not right now. Teeth are 
They're crazy! Those are bugs. Maybe they're moths? I don't know what they're supposed to be. Is there a list? A list of the enemies on the internet? I bet there is. This is not good. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Oh, pauses. Get it. Careful. Ah, ah. Run, run. Uh, so, ladybug. Enemy. Oh, what, what I was thinking. What was I thinking there? What were you thinking? Not thinking. Nope. quite get there. The Atari Age splash, splash screen? screen? Oh boy. I have to At the beginning. I have to flip it on the splash screen. Not just um, have it on black and white. Mm -hmm. Oh, he sent me an updated binary. Oh wow. Okay, well let's do this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. That is the advantage of doing a live show. Mm -hmm. You can get updated binaries direct from the source while doing the show. Hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Go download it first, don't I? Save. <laughs> With one line of code change, that's service, says Great Offender. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is. <laughs> Ready to go. So, ah, gift it. Mm. Or not. Mm -mm. So, flip it. No, don't what press. am I doing? Uh, did you press something? Yeah, I did. Sorry. Oh, it skipped the screen. <laughs> you're always pressing something <laughs> when you're not supposed to be pressing something. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, Actually, we'll switch it back so people can see what we're doing. Mm. There we go. Ooh. Oh, I see. It actually just goes into a... Uh... Oh, maze 5C, door CA. So you must be able to control... <gasps> Ooh, Ooh, that is pretty. Nice. Oh, I like that. Let's see what we can do here. Is there a red and terrible. white? Go, go with, go <laughs> How with, about uh, something terrible? Red and white? Yeah. I don't know if it goes Canadian, to white. Canadian flag colors? Oh, there's or close. something. That's, that's... You could do red, white, and blue. Well, you can only do two colors. No, but the, the, the pellets are white. So. Well, the pellets just kind of change on their own. I guess that's true. There's blue and green. I approve. <laughs> Red and blue. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's do a terrible combo. Well, actually, that's not bad. Purple and green. That's what it was before, I think. Teal and gray. Pellets are gray. a blend of two colors. That makes sense. Oh, I see. Yeah. Hold down the button to change the brightness. Oh, great. So we can make tear. Oh, that's me. Invisible doors. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Door zero. No, that's that's terrible. that's terrible. <laughs> Someone is gonna play it that way, though. Terrible. These are terrible colors. <laughs> there are some more terrible colors. It's not. It almost it's feels like good. ultraviolet coming through the yeah. screen. It's like so. Purple and green. So purpely. Not too That's bad. That's what it was before. That's what it was before. Change Fortunately, it. it doesn't save the colors, but oh, you, but at least you can see, I see. You can see what they are, and then go. That's good. Yeah. And then put them in the game. No, you get yeah, well. It, I guess it doesn't. Although I may keep it for the color of the arcade maze. That makes mm. sense. So you could adjust it in your your 
level one arcade maze or whatever, I guess. Or you could have them flashing or just oh, cycling. No, 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 too no, much. No. <laughs> that's 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 a little extra. I, <laughs> cool though. That's really cool. Like almost invisible maze. <laughs> pink. Oh, that's another color. Let's go pink and what can we do? Teal. Teal. Oh, there's a blue. So can we get to teal from blue? Uh, everything's a little pink. That's that's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, I yeah. like that. I like that. Pink and teal. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Can we get into the game after this, or is it stuck in? Oh, we can. Okay. So this is the updated version. Mm-hmm. For so, challenge mode? Yes. Uh, no, not... Chal yeah, challenge what? versus, and then we can control the spider. Two-player versus? Yeah. Press button. Ooh. Excuse me. Now this should correct the way-too-powerful enemy. Guarding, guarding pellets. That's sure, random. random. The Tron edition. <laughs> okay. This is super fast. Yeah, I can't turn him around now. That's much better. Is it? Oh my god. Is it hard? The uh, side effect of that is he can kind of get stuck in an area. <laughs> oh, and, and, yeah, because you can't. Oh, unless he bad. hits something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't turn. Yeah. <laughs> but that's fine. Mm. I mean, that's fine for the the challenge, yeah. Yeah. Interesting, though. Mm-hmm. Come on, go boop. There we go. How are you finding it? Uh, I don't find I can control it much at all. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure I'm controlling it a little bit. You, you just have to hold in the direction you want it to go next. Oh, I see. If, if he makes it to that a spot where you, you can go next. Oh, I'm controlling the spider, and I just killed the spider. <laughs> oh no! It wasn't he was even. Super I was powerful. thinking I was controlling something else for a second. I'm like, I'm the spider, and then dead. Yeah. Oh well. Spider come back? Yeah, he comes back. It was regenerating. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need a four extra. Or either one of them. Oh. There's the cucumber. Oh yeah, he can <laughs> Got him. flip the doors. <laughs> I forgot he could flip the doors. That's I was like, exciting. I'm hiding, I'm hiding. Yeah, the spider is powerful. Like this one. Mm -hmm. ah! Oh, he went almost right through the door. He's doing a good job on his own. <laughs> I'm not ah, even touching I'm him. I'm trying to go down. <laughs> I'm not even touching I him. I know, that's so funny. Eat the veggie to freeze all enemies for five seconds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, good luck getting I that did, veggie. I did get that veggie at one point. Once, yeah. yeah. But at that point, all four enemies are on the board, so it's really hard. For you. Nope. Oh. Oh, I almost had you. <laughs> yeah. <Bah! laughs> hmm, is that a bug? It looks like a door disappeared, <laughs> did it? Oh, I didn't notice. Ha! Ah, there we go. Uh, I need the A for special. Let's get out of here. I'm trying to do something. Nope. <laughs> There it you. is! Ah, oh, no, it switched! Coming for you! Ah! Oh. Did it switch on you? Yep. Uh -huh. And then I died. <laughs> Another one died. Red. Come on. Thank you. Oh, sound like. 
like uh, Basil Faulty when you say that. <laughs> Which when, when Thank I say you. That. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Oh. Good night. Good night, Nathan. You're very welcome. There were awesome, fun, fun packing games to show off the Quadtari. Who's that? Nathan Tolbert, Go Wow. Mm. First, the thinking. first games we played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Joust one. So I've been so looking forward to that four-player Joust for mm. so long. After seeing that uh, that screen. So we did we go we. Did we go to the 2017 Portland Retro Gaming Expo? Mm -hmm. We must have. We missed one year. It, it was probably that one, right? Because I, we did not, definitely did not see the Quadtari. Definitely did not play Quad Quad Jones. There was, there was definitely a year we didn't make it, yeah. and I can't remember it must what have year been it was, year. but it might have been that one. Yeah. Oh, can you say anything about my shirt? Um. Yeah, I got this shirt as well in uh, in the mail the other day. Yeah, I didn't unpack it because I wanted to play it. Uh, I'll wear it, it I mean. yeah. It's not bad. It is a nice shirt. I really like the colors on it, actually, I have to say. Yep, it's very nice. I was trying to find nice, uh, unique Atari shirts. So, who is going to get a Quadtari after seeing all these games mm -hmm. and what they can do? As soon as I heard about it, I was like, yes, I want that Quadtari. Of course, it helps that there's uh, a bunch of games already. Oh, you flipped it the I didn't the mean way. to flip it that way. Bunch of games already out, ready to play. It yes. does help a lot. I love that it makes it glowy looking. I like it's, I like it's the... plasticky though, which makes me fear. It's not a it's not a silk screen or mm. whatever. Is that what it's called? Silk screen? Yeah. Um So it it'll wear off. It'll after a while. it'll start flaking. Yeah. It's not not one of those Yeah. It's an iron irony iron on kind of thing. Great Offender says his quadtari should arrive Tuesday. Excellent. I look forward to your video on it. <laughs> Are you going to do a video on it? Uh, Smears arrived today. Nice. Crossbow ordered a build-it-yourself kit version. That's not surprising. Mm -hmm. um, you're very handy with the soldering iron. Mm -hmm. Might do a video. Yes. Cool. Okay, cool. Player change. My turn. And Spiceworth says he has a developer one coming. Yes, um, actually, uh, I don't know how many are left, and also Nathan's left. So um, on the page, it says still says that developer versions are available for free. So if you're an Atari 2600 developer, you can get a Quadtari for free. Nope. <laughs> ah. Um, oh, oh my God. Ooh, I want that eggplant. It's not real life. I hate eggplant. But I want that eggplant. Oh! <laughs> Looking forward to one of your videos, Glenn. No, no pressure. pressure. <laughs> That's right. Well, that was fun. Ooh, what's a Quattari? This. <laughs> um, we've demonstrated the four-player games. Uh, this, this game doesn't have Quattari yet. It is... This box on the floor that you can kind of see in the bottom <laughs> bottom screen um, that allows you to plug in four joysticks and play four player games on, on the Atari, Atari 2600, 2600 and 7800 and 8 bit, but there's nothing on those systems yet. Yeah. But there's a bunch, there's like 10 games right now yeah. on the Atari 2600. Oh, I can put my name in. Do it. Oh, I don't have to erase your name. Good. No. Is it time out when it gets to the top? I wonder. I'm not going to risk it. It looks like it does. And a heart. <laughs> I love the heart. I do. I think that's really sweet. Oh. Very nice. Well, Push me off fifth the screen. Place. Um, good um, time. Well, have a good night. Have a good night, John. Thank you so much for um, allowing us to play all these amazing updated games and the new...
Quadtari. Quadtari games and the Ladybug the, Arcade. Very brand awesome new, that your seeing. games incorporate it so that you yes. can play it with multiple players or multiple joysticks. Yes. <laughs> Love me some good eggplant yeah. parmesan. No, I, I like eggplant is so mushy. I just don't oh, like the texture eggplant. of it. Parmesan. parmesan is good. Though. It's very tasty. No. 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 <laughs> um, you can also put in driving controllers. Yeah. Four driving controllers. You can also put in um, paddles. Four double sets of paddles, mm. which means you have eight paddles, but only buttons work. Mm. But if you think about it, there's lots of games that use one button. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Lot you can do an endless runner where you can jump or hold it for duck. Yeah. So you have two things. Like a button can do a hold, you can do a double hit, double tap, single tap, or a hold. There's three things you can do with a button. There's other other things you do triple, but it gets silly. Um You VHZC could have an endless jumping runner. Yep. Four people and it's just to the death. Whoever last man standing. You can do flappy bird. <laughs> That'd be very cool. <laughs> You can do an eight-player Flappy Bird. Little tiny Flappy Bird segments down the screen. Eight yeah. of them. Um, you can do... Let's see. Something where it's like you have to change... At a, do something at a certain point. Mm. Um, a rhythm game. How about that? Yeah. A rhythm and elimination game where it's like do do to the song. Yeah, yeah. Somebody put a like a really good song in there. Yeah. And I and either make make up your own, I guess. Yeah. Um, and you have to do it on the beat. And mm. you could even hold it, right? For long long notes, hold the button. For long mm. notes and for short notes, tap yeah. it. Yeah. Definitely. Um, There's so many options there. Did you uh, say no paddles? I said lots of paddles. <laughs> Eight paddles. You can have a, four yeah. double paddles, but only the button works. Mm. You can have four driving controllers because the driving controller uses joystick mm. equivalent. Why is that equivalent joystick presses? Up, down, left, right. Um, so you can have a four-player driving game. Yeah. Or a four-player something anything involving game. paddles really yep yeah, paddle yeah you can have a, yeah. a not a driving around a course but like a driving back and forth game yeah. or things that run back and forth oh but you can use joysticks for those quiz show game for eight players it, yes. yes you can buzz in yeah and then answer it but then you'd have a lot <laughs> you'd have to have a lot of text but you know there's big big cartridges yeah. now um what else could you do oh and this, please, if any developers want ideas for eight players, Hungry Hungry Hippos. Oh, we were talking about that. The for other eight time. players. <laughs> you have two on the top, two on the bottom, <laughs> two on the side, staggered, so you don't have to have the same hippo. Eight player Hungry Hungry Hippos. You can even have two, two colored hippos, because if you stagger them, yeah. you can have two colors. Mm. Um, and then you press the button to eat. Eat. I think he's coming up with his next game to develop. Hungry, hungry, I'd be hippos. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> and and it would just reach out and get the marble. Yeah, yeah. You'd have to have the marbles kind of moving all the time. Yeah, a little bit. Or actually, every time somebody presses the button, the marbles kind of like moves, jiggle, jiggle, jiggle a, bit. a little. Yeah, the yeah. The board yeah. jiggles a bit. Yeah, great defender. Better be quiet now. <laughs> hungry, hungry hippos. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I think that would be the best application for an a eight, single a single button, single button eight player eight game. Player. You yeah. could have one to eight players, yeah. right? You could have a uh, joystick alter alternate on, as an alternative mm. for four players as Hunger Hunger Hippos. You don't have to have the directions. Just press the button. Um, yeah, eight players would be amazing. Mm. How's my game coming along? Well, just had the Atari Homebrew Award. <laughs> and I have some huge shows coming up. Yeah. Um, so not at all for the long, longest time <laughs> since last year. Yep. Um, I still think about it constantly. Yeah. Um, it's just about time. So yeah. thing, I finished a video project recently. So that is kind of winding down. And it's kind of getting into more writing. And I'm not a writer, so I'm waiting for my writers to finish the projects. Mm. I mean, I contribute to it, but I'm not doing writing. So I will have some more time, but it depends how much time I put into the show <laughs> mm -hmm. if you want me to go to one show a week then 
I can work more on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'll have a little bit of time in the future, though. Yeah, yeah. things will calm down a little bit. Yeah. Tough for eight players to sit around a nine inch. 1970s, 1970s vintage TV. Yes, very true. You have to get a bigger TV. We have a 46 inch TV here. It's nice and big. But we don't have room for eight people in the room. <laughs> We have no. to do it upstairs. And the, the one time, or the couple of times we've had four people in here, it was like 40 degrees Celsius. It, it was got in the so summer. hot. In the oh winter, it'd be God. fine. You just open the door. Yeah, that's very true. Um, yeah. Four player Dark Cavern would be super awesome. Yeah, any game, like you don't have to have four players. You can have one player and three enemies. Mm. Just adapt any game. You know what? You could take existing games mm. and hack them to be quad tari games and yeah. make the other three players are you listening omega matrix <laughs> <laughs> omega matrix um hashtag <laughs> and just make all the enemies playable as they yeah. come out just like this yeah and if you have one to four you select how many players how many enemies are going to be controlled mm. or you know somebody doesn't move the joystick it just moves them like ladybug yeah yeah so there you go there's lots of ideas, developers, as if you need them. There's a whole thread on the Atari Age forums. It's like idea peddlers go here. Yeah. Because they do not want a thousand threads. Make this game. Make this yeah. game. Make <laughs> yeah. this game. Make yeah. this game. Yeah. I mean, I can say it on the show because mm -hmm. it's my show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and say all the ideas I want. They don't have to listen to me. But they they have a specific thread for people to just post their, like I have an idea. Post yeah. their Fair ideas. Enough. Yeah. Hungry hungry hippos. Good idea though. Yes. Even if it's not eight player, Robert. even if it's four player, that's awesome too. So. Yeah. Um, the problem is all the the balls on the screen. Yeah. But you can do what John Shampoo yeah. did with Robotron, right? With Robotron and do the um, play field as the balls. They can just be squares. Yeah. White squares, going around, have a white border so the play field's the same color, mm. and. Just bounce them around. Square balls. Mm -hmm. You know, it's an Atari. People forgive you. Yep. Four sets of paddles. Yep. yep. Venture Reloaded. Mm -hmm. Yes. I want that too. It's not out yet, is it? No, it's part of the new batch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's fun. I want to complete that game on an upcoming show. But I think that's it for today. We've done all the things that we promised to do. There's a lot of games to today. Do. It was pretty awesome. Yes. I'm looking forward to having more people to play these games, but yeah. that is not known yet, so we'll just have to wait. At least but, probably uh, till late summer, at the earliest. I, in yeah, Can I agree. In Canada. In Canada. The rollout's maybe. a little bit slower here. It's been, yeah, the vaccine rollout for sure. Yeah. Depends on so many factors, so it's better yeah. to just kind of like, mm, it's coming, but we it's don't know coming. when. Yeah. yeah. In the meantime, it's just us. Yeah. But we, I do have cats. Where are the cats? a multiplayer day planned. Mm. And uh, obviously all the four player games, the like um, Medieval Mayhem would be part of that. Mm. Any multiplayer games is going to be part of that. Big show. Going to be a good year for homebrews. Oh, yeah. It's going to be an awesome year for homebrews. I'll actually get that off the screen. Um, I can actually see the corner of my screen. It's very wide today. There. Clear. It's overblown anyway. Couldn't mm -hmm. read it. Um, so, thanks everybody. Uh, what's coming up in the shows? Uh, next show is in 7800. I need to go and fill out the shows because there's so many homebrews that I've missed this year. Like, like I've literally almost played none of the games that have been released this year in 2021 in 2021 yeah yeah all the new ones that's good because and there's some good ones there's, there's some good ones to play so there's that's a new good. vhzc game yeah. which is an awesome strategy puzzle game you'll love really oh my god <laughs> sliders sliders it's called yep mm -hmm. but the next uh show is a 7800 show um the stuff on there is not even relevant anymore i might change it up we're definitely going to be play, playing Galaxian, mm. which we haven't played yet. It's Bob De Crescenzo's game. Mm -hmm. uh, we're definitely going to be playing the new Popeye. We have an exclusive um, new build of Popeye. Um, don't know about the other ones right now. Those will probably be changed because I think there's some other ones that I want to put in there. Uh, we have an exclusive. The next show, next Friday, Night Guy in Low Res World Castle Days, exclusive final version of it. Mm. see how far we can get and space pac-man 
as well. Cool. That's another that was update. fun. Fun. That was yeah. Very fun. It's got some updates for that. Good. Good. Um, and a, probably the VHZCs. Uh, we'll do a double VHZC. Cool. Because I do want to play that one. On okay. The next twenty. Yeah. 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 Cool. Cool. And any other uh, a dragon a dragonfly cart special. Okay. Uh, I had that whenever it arrives. I'm just gonna slot it in. We're yep. gonna play Squish EX it in there. EXO and a bunch of other 7800 games. Mm. Popeye's ridiculous in a good way. It's hands down the best yes. home console version. Oh my God, yes, it is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Job security, yes, so many. <laughs> so many games. It's been very it's good. Unbelievable, yeah. 2021 is gonna be a huge year yeah. for, for 2600 and 7800 home brews. Um, and uh, we have a developer spotlight on Bob Decker's Enzo. Very cool. Uh, March, April. Cool. Depends how busy things get. Yeah. I might just push to April just to give me some time. Mm. Um, so I have time to prepare and kind of run through things and maybe work in my game. <laughs> we'll see. Mm. Uh, we also have some special unannounced events that I can't tell you about still. Two of them. They'll come eventually. They will. <laughs> yes. You'll have to try this on your Dragonfly when it arrives. Uh, the colors look great in S video. Cool. Um, are you talking about um, Popeye, I'm guessing? Mm. Yeah. That'll be good. Yes. Yeah, because he was talking about Popeye. Oh, uh, yes, Popeye. Um, that okay. is it. We got tons coming up anyway. There's a lot of good stuff to, to play. Of good stuff. So thanks for hanging out with mm -hmm. us. Thanks for taking a look at the Quad Tari. I'm glad it's out. People can buy it. Uh, go grab it now. Uh, lots of games are being developed. Um, yeah, lots. <laughs> and especially now that uh, Batari Basic has support for it and examples. Um, so we'll read off the names. Yeah. S. Ramirez, 2008, Nathan yep. Strum, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Dan AVC. New uh, name, Neo Venom. Nice. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, Flackets. I like your any key, by the way. I don't know where you got that from. <laughs> a pledge yeah. for something. Yeah. But that's a very cool little symbol. It is for... Well, they're still not saying what it stands for. Here. <laughs> they just keep saying GLHF, GLHF, GLHF. Nope. Oh, well, it's just GLHF. Very but cool. You, but you uh, pledged to them, which yeah. is great. Yeah. Um, Nathan yes, Strum. Nathan Strum. Who? Johnny. Johnny WC, of course, thank you. Yes. For all your awesome games. And Nathan Strum for all your awesome graphics. Mm -hmm. All over the place. <laughs> Cross uh, crossbow. Crossbow, yep. Spiceware. Yep, Spiceware Flackets in Gale there. Spice Jr. Uh, Gow wow, yeah, wow. Of course, for making this beautiful piece of hardware yes. and getting it out to me mm -hmm. uh, so we can demo it. Uh, flack hits. Let's scroll, scroll, scroll. Oh, lots of the same people talking. Mm -hmm. Chatty, chatty. Oh, Canadian, Canadian Tenor, yes. Canadian Tenor, who was on, what did they say? They said they were on some TV show as a finalist. Oh, really? As a singer. I missed What's that. What's the Canadian version of the singing show? Like Top Talent Blah show. Canada's Got Talent or Canada, something? I don't know. They said they were they were one of the finalists. Oh, really? At the beginning of the episode before we started oh, in the chat. I did not see that, so. Yeah. <laughs> Canadian Idol. Yeah, Canadian there Idol. There we go. Very I don't know cool. if it was that, but it was something well, like that. That's very cool. Yeah. Nice. Um, and they, they were the people who said it was like 50 below in the middle of the, in, in Regina. the prairies. Yeah, in Regina. that's cold. That's cold. Yeah. <laughs> that's so very thanks cold. for tuning in. Yes. Uh, they said they know the show, but they've never been able to catch a show. Well, very cool. Yep. Oh, chat. Stop being paused. I think that's what he said. Yeah. Yeah. Any key leads to this. Yeah. And, but I couldn't find what it stood for. It just says GLHF everywhere. It is a very cool uh, little symbol, though. Yes. Yeah. Is. Ah, I can't find it. Oh, about. Ah, it's still not here. How can you have a thing without saying what your thing is? History and philosophy. That's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um, so thanks, everybody, for tuning yes. in. And we will see you on Tuesday for the next show, for the mm -hmm. 7800 show. And uh, have a good night and have a good weekend. Yeah. Bye-bye, everyone.